All righty. Hello, 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 hello. How is everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday, if that's the day it is. Karinder, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody been doing? Oh, man. It is Prime Day. The last day of Prime Day. But nonetheless, the last, exactly last day. Let me get in the voice chat. Let me get in the voice chat real quick. Hold on. There we go. Now I'm in the voice chat. So Justin can join. Better. My headset is dead or off? One of the two. Go ahead, Justin. Talk real quick. Talking real quick. That wasn't very fast. But how's everybody doing today? Welcome to the stream. It is super hot in my room for some reason. I literally just got out of the shower right before I hit live. Oh. Eric, Donna, we got Kit, C4T, Kit C4T in the house. But yes, so today we do have um, probably the bit biggest prize so far. Uh, it definitely is, Justin. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say so? Out of the Prime Day streams, yeah. Out of, out out of, of these the, live streams. Yeah, out of these live streams. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Rover. So by the way, I don't know what's going on. Nothing's wrong with my 3D printer. But something about the little guy that Justin designed, it keeps failing at a cert, like the same exact spot every single time. So I don't know. I think my 3D printer might not be able to do what he's doing. But anyways, like I said, welcome to to uh, <laughs> welcome to to John. It's going good. How are you? But welcome to today's stream. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just jump right in and get started with some of these products here today. The first product that we're going to be taking a look at is the Eufy Security Cam, Eufy Cam 2C. Um, so this is basically the little brother of the 2C that I showed you guys yesterday. Morning from here, early and late. Yep. Yeah, but this is the little brother to um, the 2C that I showed you guys yesterday. So let me go ahead and get that video loaded up for you guys. Highlight it in the carousel. Jeff G, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I think James did these ones. So we got. So we're gonna start off this stream with a forty-five minute uh, video, and then uh, another thirty minutes where he showcases the product. And it looks like I need to get a light on my three D printer. To be honest with you guys, which we will do. We will do. Justin, how was uh, James's stream this morning? It was good. It was good. Good. Ran four hours, so. I'm going to try not to make this one six and a half this time. <laughs> that was well, crazy. Funny, six hours from now, Nikita goes live again. So if we, if we did, we'd bump right up against his stream. I'd oh, like yeah. Have true, an true. hour gap in between at least. I at least, yeah. So cool down, yeah. James here. And today I'm going to walk you through how to install the app and connect your app, your cameras to the Eufy cam 2c home security system setup as you guys see i have the little uh paper here you guys can see this that's just the box covering right i have one of the cameras here and that's on purpose and then we have the phone first you open up the play store if you're using android pop over to apps type in eufy security the first one right here by anchor install it and then we will open it and since i already have it installed we will just open it just like that right now, do you want to add on to form factor? I will add that on off camera. As you guys see, I do have one device and the, and the home base already connected. You know, we're just going to ignore all that really quick. Not sure why that popped up. So if you want to add a new device, right, you click plus. Home base 2 is the one you're going to want for this system. You click home base 2, add new home. Then it's going to tell you how to walk through, name it, and all of that stuff, and pairing it up, which is very simple. So you just go like this, and then we go click, and it'll say connect your home base to your lane's router, then go next, find your Wi-Fi signal, and connect, and it'll pair. Since we've already did that, we don't need to do that, but we do have a camera on. So how do you add the camera? Well, first you go down, you find the Eufy Cam 2 2 Pro, that's not the one we want. We want the Eufy Cam 2C, 2C Pro. 
you click this now it says keep camera and home base within one meter i'm definitely within one meter so we're going to click next now it's going to say click connect the sync button well the sync button is right here on top of the camera i'm going to camera and home base within one meter i'm definitely within one meter so we're going to click next now it's going to say click connect the sync button well the sync button is right here on top of the camera i'm going to click that you're going to see it beeps and turns red now the home base is actually going to detect it itself busy 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 how's it going once i click that now you hear back there adding device discovering camera let's point the camera at something a little little uh, let's say let's point it at the door over here just like that we're pointing i am doing i'm doing pretty good my nose is all stuffed up again today but i think that's just allergies Pointed at the door hopefully the door will see it now we're going to click and detect what we wanted to say i'm going to say living room for now since this is in the living room that's what we're going to name it for now. The camera is initializing. Now we are added successfully. Now they will ask you, do you want optimal battery life at 20 second clips or optimal surveillance at 60 second clips? I think I'm going to go with 20 second clips for now. Now it says fully charged camera, you know, off the device or off a USB plug to make the premium battery. I'm not going to worry about that right now because we're just doing a video. Since we are there, it shows you how to mount it and clip it 7 to 10 feet above. Easily done in my place because my walls are at least 15 feet tall in some areas. So we're going to go there. Now it's going to detect the Wi-Fi signal. It is great. Now you see the mounting and you hear the echo. We're going to go connect. You said you have a quick cure for that VEG, what is VEG? Am I, am I missing something? I don't know what VEG is. We are now connected. We have two cameras, the front door, we have the living room. Let's open the front door. We are now in the front door. If I hit mute, you don't hear the echo, but you can hear everything going on. It does have a microphone. If I hold speak, you know, it needs uh, the request permission. So we will say while using this app, hey, get out of my house. Hey, get out of my house. And you guys should hear it in the background. So that works. We can clip it or we can start recording. We are now recording a clip of what we want. Yep. Or if we want to save, let's clip that, save a screenshot of the picture. We can do that also. Then we have like nighttime. Let's go over to night vision. You can turn on black and white night vision, spotlight night vision, or turn off. We're going to leave it as is. We can hit the alarm. Do we want the alarm or home base? We do not want the alarm whatsoever. I hadn't heard that abbreviation before. Veg for very evil grin. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, some people just want to watch the world burn. And in today's chat, the person that wants to watch the world burn happens to be U.S. Rover. Uh, <laughs> I'll just say Rover. <laughs> Rover wants to... No, I just... Like, three minutes before stream... Uh, maybe five minutes before stream, I use my nasage, nasal remover thing, and it works super well. But uh, my allergies, or whatever it is... Uh, exceed its ability right now then we have settings right it tells you front door motion detection is on spotlight well, it's is also on, temporary power right it only flushes then you get the stuff back in just a few minutes later by yep. nailing again navage navage yeah navage yes navage. navage yeah video settings so we have watermark we can add a watermark if we want a watermark timestamp and logo we want just the timestamp we don't need the logo to just the timestamp will be just fine. We'll back We're going to go ahead and just end that at that point right there, chat. So that is the Eufy Eufy Cam 2C security kit. Now, so that comes with two. Um, right now, that is a crazy deal. 159 down from down from 239 Prime Day sale. But there's also an extra clip uh, clickable coupon for $12 off. So you guys can get this for under 150 bucks right now. 
saving almost a hundred dollars, which is crazy to me. Um, that has a 180 day battery life, 1080p IPX67 water resistance, night vision, no monthly fees. It's definitely a steal. I think somebody in chat yesterday picked up the 2C Pro, uh, which is just a little bit different when it comes to the resolution of the videos um, or of the cameras on them. Yeah, then I'll just be a mouth breather all the time, <laughs> just breathing loud. But definitely check out that Eufy security cam. We're going to switch over into the next product in today's stream, and we're going to take a look at this V-Copter Falcon. So I do have a video for you guys, um, like just a general setup, and then I'm going to go through some local video that I have to show you guys some of the flight tests. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump over to that real quick. Reminder for this streams giveaways go to dragonblogger.com slash enter live if you entered this morning you have to re-enter the giveaways were all reset so you have to enter again during the show we're going to be giving away more gift cards and a couple of physical prizes including the biggest physical prize we've given away in a live stream is coming up yep so definitely get entered dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live uh justin you you almost sound like you're all prime date out already <laughs> Yeah, I'm like James after the 20th video in a row. <laughs> well, because you've been you've been in the streams. Just well, I've also like... been up since 3 a, 3 a.m. because my wife and son went to the airport to fly to Illinois to visit their uh, her brother. So I've been up since oh, 3 a.m. Wow, tired. wow, you are. Yep, Justin is struggling. Everybody, put an F in chat for respect. Put F in chat for respect because Justin is struggling. Or an you S can... in, an S in chat for sleep. <laughs> is, is that? In terms of actual size or price. I don't know what we're talking about here. Uh, F and chat, F and chat. So anyways, like I said, we're going to take a look at this V-Copter Falcon. So let me go ahead and just get that video loaded up for you guys real quick. The then I'm going to show you guys. Pri price, not physical size. So it's the largest single product we've given away price-wise during a live stream. The highest value. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we are going to be taking a look at the V-Copter Falcon. Today's video is just going to be a quick setup video. So it's not this V-Copter Falcon. I wish it was. Get this going. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is just basically take the battery off of the bottom of the drone. And all of this video is going to be on the assumption that you guys have already unboxed this. Once you have this battery off of the drone, all you simply want to do is just plug it up with the included charger. And the reason I say do this is so for your first flight, you get the max amount of flight time being that the drone doesn't come fully charged. And as you guys can see here, you have four indicator bars. So just wait till it gets to four and then you guys should be good to go. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is simply hold down on the top of the drone once the battery is reinstalled. Wait for the lights to flash. The gimbal will do its little calibration as you guys can see right there. And then we're gonna move on to the next step now. So then you wanna open up on the left A side of the drone statue. as if you're facing the back of it. And you're going to press in that little red button and that is going to put the drone into pairing mode in order to get this drone paired with the controller itself. And then you'll see on the back that the green light will flash, meaning we're ready to go on to the next step. Then all you wanna do is power on the controller, plug in your phone via the USB port that is on the back. And it might take a few seconds. You guys can notice here that it's just kind of loading and thinking, but this is only during initial pairing and it won't take this long moving forward whenever you wanna fly this thing again. Then you will see that you have a firmware update available. You can go ahead and hit OK. It's not going to update it right now. And then you'll have a little bit of a registration process with your personal information just to get this drone registered to you. Uh, so just go ahead and make sure that you do that. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is just go in. There's going to give you some more prompts such as sport mode and some more firmware. You can skip through all of that. And then you will see right now we are basically ready to go. And so that's really all there is for this drone. There's not much to it. And I just want to make sure that you guys understand that this drone is probably the easiest drone I've ever had to set up. So once you go through all of those instructions, all you have to do is take this outside, find a good place to fly it, and you're good to go. And this is just a quick little demonstration that I wanted to show you separate from the full test video that I'll be doing. It was super, super windy this day, which was about 40 miles per hour, and this drone handles so incredibly well, you guys wouldn't believe it. So this is just a quick little setup tutorial. I will be doing a full review in the coming days just on the entire features and setup and running and everything of this drone as you guys can see here this is just
Oh yeah, there is. So we're gonna go ahead and start off in the day with this drone, um, with this drone footage that I have. So here's one of the first flight tests. So this, there's no editing. This is all directly from the camera, just raw video. So first of all, look, look at how good that looks. Look at the contrast, the white balance. It's very much HDR like, yeah. Look at that. So I was, this was uh, at the farm here in town, my my wife's family farm. And then, I re <laughs> and then I realized whenever I was starting to turn around, if you guys look right here, I didn't notice it, but I was like, at the time when I was flying, I didn't notice this guy right here. And I was like, all right, let's just not, let's just not peep on that guy and let's get out of there. You know, I was just thinking, you take such good footage with this drone. It's kind of like how those weather channels, those morning news stations, where they have to get that helicopter footage of like the sunrise coming up. You could do oh, that yeah. with this drone. Yeah, the drone looks so good. Uh, let's let's go ahead and show you guys me getting these goats real quick. This is an excellent, like legit and excellent way to herd animals. I'm not even kidding. So they were all the way up. They were all the way up at the back of here, which is where kind of where you guys saw. This is probably about 10 acres back here, maybe more. And they were all the way up there. And I didn't record in time, but I, I brought them all the way down because it was time to actually get them fed. So you guys could see uh, you guys could see that right here. I brought them all the way back down so we can get them fed. And then a single a chicken, a single chicken just emerges from the goats. Look, <laughs> that's funny. With a singular chicken. So there we were getting our goats down the hill. Uh, let me let me get the next one up now. So the next one is, let's see, this one was pretty far away, too. So check this one out. You guys could see right there. That's such a scenic little a scenic little deal right here with the train in the background. Chat, like I said, nope. There's no editing or post processing color correction. This is all just raw video and it looks this good. This drone has four point two mile range. Think all right. So, yeah, chat, think about that. So let me see where we're at. Whenever I get back straight. So I am live viewing this. From, I gotta see where the house is. Yeah, I can't even see our house. Okay, so if you guys can see my mouse chat, it's right here. The house is, it's not there. There it is right there. Where I'm circling, that's how far we are away. And then we even discovered something. So my, my wife's dad has lived here his whole life. We even discovered something he didn't even know existed, which is this pond. Like he did, he had no idea that this pond even existed at all. And then we went ahead and this was on 4th of July, I believe. So we, we got some footage of fireworks too. Now it's a little bit grainy just because, I mean, this drone was never developed to be, this drone was never developed to be a low light drone. So it's a little bit grainy, but just check this out. I think I kind of get them right here. There we go. You guys can see that little dot right there where my mouse is. That's where we were lighting off the um, fireworks from. I got a little launch tube. So we got that. We'll continue on. The cool thing about this drone is it actually lets you take off at night. Some drones just don't have like ambient light sensors and they just will not let you take off at night at all. Let me go ahead and here we go. Here's a little bit of a more better showcase. Oh yeah, go back. Let's see that pop. Go back a little bit. Let's watch that pop. No, oh, hold on. I'm glad you didn't actually blow up your drone. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did on the first try. Hold on, something's going on with my um my videos folder here. Give me one second, chat. Oh no, why is my uh look at that? My file explorer is not responding.
broke it. Hello. 40, 48 people have entered so far. For 48 tonight, people. For awesome. Prizes. Okay, we're back. I broke it, chat. You No, chat, you broke it. I'm going to go ahead and say that you guys broke it. But let me go ahead and get that back up real quick. That was weird. So here is what I was talking about. He said he wanted to see it pop. So Look at that, chat. It's incredible. It really is. And then here's the one where he wanted to see pop. No, after after I reset my PC, I didn't have any issues. But now I'm having but now I'm having PC issues. So maybe it is a resource thing. I don't know. I don't know. When I'm not streaming, I don't have these issues. Zero idea. But one second, I'm going to just try to play it one last time. But the best the best uh, firework video I have, I'm going to just try to play that one last time. There we go. And you'll blame OBS. I'd say maybe resources. I mean, I, I do have a camera going. I have a microphone. I have an external hard drive with these videos. So it's probably just a culmination of a bunch of different things. Yeah, you guys, if you did enter on today's morning stream, you have to make sure that you get re-entered on this stream as well. There you go, Justin. Look, you're missing the fireworks. Oh, wow. We love fireworks. Serene, welcome. So, yes, it is definitely, definitely an awesome drone. And you guys should definitely check it out right now to 889 down from $1,199. So you guys are saving a whopping $310 on that Zero Zero Robotics V-Copter Falcon drone. And fun fact, that is actually Anchor. That is their, um, that is their sub brand. So you guys definitely have to get that checked out. But we're gonna roll into the next product in today's stream, and uh, take a look at this QQH 15.6 inch portable monitor. Uh, and I'm not really too sure. Um, when we're doing our first giveaway, I think it's, it right, it's right. It's right after this monitor. Okay, so right, right after this monitor. So I'll go ahead and get this video loaded up for you guys. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this pretty cool portable 15.6 inch full HD monitor from QQH. Before we jump in, let's go ahead and just take a look at the box. You guys can see here, it's pretty simple packaging. On the back here, it just kind of gives you some general specs on this, such as dimensions and weight. But we'll go ahead and get right into the unboxing. I just got the lid off and you guys can see right here that everything is very well packaged with nice foam around everything to keep it protected. You're going to get your charging cube right here. Continuing on, you are going to get the monitor itself. Now, this is very easy to get set up, but we'll go ahead and just keep going on in this unboxing. You're going to get the user manual right here, and then you are also going to get this little cleaning pad, which is nice of them to include just so you can keep that clean. You're going to get a USB-C to USB-C cable. You are going to get your USB-C charging cable, and then you're also going to get your mini... So, John, I'm showing that it is peaking at a very good level, so um, I'm not really too sure what's going on. But when you talk, suddenly blam. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. The Let me make sure, yeah. It's peaking at a good level for me, and the video is not quiet for me. You might have to turn up your speakers a little bit or your headset. The HDMI to HDMI cable right there. So now we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the monitor itself. As you guys can see, when you pull it out of the packaging, it has this very nice cover, almost kind of like a tablet in a way. On the sides of it, you are going to have an auxiliary jack, the selector wheel, as well as a power button. And then we will go ahead and flip it over to the other side where you will have two USB-C inputs. One of these will be used for keeping this powered. And then you're... Oh yeah, so how are the gift cards on, to on James streams, Justin, today? So... Uh, let's see. I, I recorded it all. So we gave away one fifty dollar gift card, uh, two twenties, 
a 25 and the rest were fives and tens. So we still have both hundreds, the 75. And so we still got some really big ones left, which are either going to be one this stream or in Nick Hayda's stream tonight. All right. A lot of Chad, so the $100 gift cards are still there. That's awesome. Yep. You're going to have your mini. Yep, there's still HDMI a chance two input, people are going to win $100 gift really cards. Nice I also made this an announcement very, earlier. Very nice. We are close to 6,000 followers on Amazon Live. So if you can get us to 6,000 followers by sharing our stream on social media, tell people to come and follow, I will give a spontaneous $200 gift card away if we reach 6,000 followers either during this stream or Nick Hayda's stream today. All right, Chad. So you guys heard that. Listen. If you are not following, hit that follow button, because if we can reach 6,000 followers today, whether it be this stream or uh, Nikita's uh, Prime Day stream today or uh, later on tonight, we are going to be doing a $200 on top of everything, a $200 random gift card. So if you guys are here and you're not following, hit that follow button and we'll love you a long time. Follow it on this monitor. <laughs> We'll go ahead and so dragonblogger.com slash enter live is how you enter all the giveaways. Go to dragonblogger.com slash enter live. You will sign into the Gleam widget. You will collect your entries, and I will be drawing all winners from there. Make and, sure you're entered. And no, unfollowing and then refollowing so you get the notification doesn't help. Yeah, it won't, it won't actually increase the numbers either. Yeah, <laughs> it'll just all. make it'll, it'll, the same number. It'll take one away and put one right back. Oh, look, Nate Wilson from Dragon Blogger started following. See, that doesn't work. <laughs> and right off of the rip, the screen quality on the QQH monitor feels really nice. But let's go ahead and turn off the lights and just kind of take a look at the quality of this. So one of my favorite things about this portable monitor is how good this looks for gaming. Now, I'm running Minecraft here. And while Minecraft isn't a graphic intensive game, or a it's doable beautiful game in less general. than 200 and followers we need to reach here, it. so all it's of doable the colors that are on the game are represented very well so the blues are very blue the greens are very green it's definitely doable because yesterday we hit we did um 100 during my live stream but that was six and a half hours so True. and we're not doing that today but it's definitely doable if, if not during my stream it's de it definitely can happen during Nikita's tonight you could have swore yes. we saw this last stream. Yes, you did. Douglas, there's going to be some duplicates because, again, as I said in the earlier stream, that there's only a finite number of products that we buy for Prime Day deals. So, and they're on Prime Day deals. So, there will be some, yep. some duplicates. And the refresh rate on this is actually surprisingly good at 60 hertz. It's definitely really nice. Not to mention some of these, screen, some of these, like pro said, some of these products are sponsored. In general. So, sponsors are, what, you... are helping me fund these giveaways. Yep. I raise sponsorship to showcase these products. And also, whenever we showcase some of these products, even if it's not like a Prime Day deal or anything like that, uh, some companies, they just they want us to showcase a certain amount of time. And then that's all back end stuff. Negotiations with Justin. But some companies want us to show on a live stream their product and they pay for it a certain amount of time. So um, if you guys ever see something that's like repetitive, more than likely, we're not just like, we really like this thing, man. Watch this a thousand times. Like, but. It, it, it's our job almost. I mean, not almost, it is. Might See, Lance yep. Campbell, love you long time. Thanks for the follow. Need a third uh, Just a reminder, we this are brand ambassadors for all these brands. With that nice carrying case. So if you guys have been looking for a new monitor, I highly recommend this one from QQH. It's a very great monitor for gaming or just a third monitor in general, and I will see you guys on the next video. All right, chat, so it is time to do a gift card giveaway and the hundred dollar gift cards are still there. $75 gift card still there. We still have the big, big number uh, gift cards to give away. And hopefully one of you guys can win it right now. So you guys have about 30 to 45 seconds to get entered. It is dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. I am going to uh, go ahead and I, I entered it in chat. I saw some of you guys were having some issues after the reset. So once you guys are entered, go ahead and type ready. See, Serene already knew what I was going to say. Serene already knew. So go ahead and type ready. So I know most of you guys are all in. You'll try to get Polymaker as a sponsor. Sure, sure. Send any brands, tell any brands you want them to work with us. I, we would appreciate that. Yeah, who's Polymaker, by the way? Is it a 3D? Sounds like a 3D printer brand. I'm pretty sure it is because he was sending me some filament uh, brands earlier. Right, it looks brand. like we have a ton of people ready. Yep. So Justin? Well, yep, everybody's ready. Uh, join the winner now. Dun, 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 dun. Our first winner of Nate's stream. 
is oh, repeat winner Vincent Yi. Repeat winner Vincent Yi. Are you in chat? Vincent Yi, are you Vincent? I know, right? Some people get the luck. He Vincent won earlier than game. And okay, so Vincent is here. So go ahead and let's see what the amount is going to be. Okay, Vincent, ready to draw your amount? Randomizer. It's five dollars, Vincent. Five dollars. Five dollars. So the hundreds are still there, chat. So if you're not following, I, I, hit that every follow one, every time I drain the five dollar, there's this just you know the net, it's getting closer and closer until the hundreds get drawn. Yeah, and it's not done that way on purpose because it's random, right? But I, I, it'd be funny if all the hundreds end up being just in Nikita's stream, but it's just random. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, congratulations, Vincent. Don't go anywhere, chat. We still have a bunch of other giveaways during this live stream. We have really cool, really nice one. The most, it is the most expensive product we've given away during a live stream ever. I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's it's pretty awesome. You guys are definitely going to want to be here. If you're not following, hit that follow button because as well, Justin said that if we hit 200 followers during today's Prime Day streams, he's going to be doing a $200 gift, random, $200 random gift card giveaway. So on top of everything else that we're doing today, that's also a possibility if we hit 6,000 followers. I was I was the I was the person here when we did when we hit 5,000 followers. So I don't I have high standards. We set the precedent on that 5,000. But yeah, definitely hit that follow button if you guys aren't entered, go ahead and get entered to win. And we're going to take a look at this Amazon Echo Show uh fourth generation and this is one of the lowest prices I've ever seen for an or not Echo Show. This is the Echo Dot. Sorry. This is the lowest price I've ever seen in Echo Dot. $20 right now. Great deal. So let me go ahead and I'll get that video loaded up for you guys because my showcases of the Echo Dot have been proven, like live showcases have not been proven to be very effective. So I'm going to play the video where I can show you guys a little bit more of what Alexa can do. You spend half the time yelling at it. I know. Alexa! <laughs> Yo, how's it going today, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Amazon Echo Dot. I am sure that you guys have heard of Alexa. You guys have heard of Amazon, definitely. But if you guys haven't seen the new dot, let's go ahead and jump in and just take a quick look at it. So unboxing this was as simple of an unboxing as you guys could possibly imagine. So you guys can see right there when you first open up the box. You well, since Vincent E won the $5 gift card this stream, he's ineligible to win another gift card this stream. So that just means somebody else is going to get the bigger dollar amount once. If they get drawn. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. However, if you win a gift card, you're still eligible to win a physical prize. Yeah. So you can per stream and this is this is kind of like the the like the path he's set going forward. If we have a stream, any stream, it doesn't matter if it's Prime Day, whatever it is. If we have a stream and we're doing physical gift card or physical prizes and gift cards, as long as you're in the US, you can win both a gift card which you can win if you're not in the U.S., but you can also win the physical prize too. That's kind of like what we're doing going forward. We're going to have this extra long charging cable. And then on the inside of the box, you're going to have some instructions, but I'll show you guys everything you need to do to get this set up. And that's basically it for everything that comes with the Echo Dot. And then you guys will notice whenever you guys get this powered on that right off of the rip, once it's turned on, you will see a little blue flashing light there on the bottom. Which whenever that's that flashing, base? that means that You'd be happy winning Nate's, uh, whatever that symbol is called. Oh, my PC, my P. Oh, would you? Because it, it seems like my PC can't keep up. <laughs> that this is ready to pair with the Alexa app in order to get it linked to your Amazon account, so you can use some of the awesome features that Alexa provides. And then once you see that it's flashing orange, just load up the Amazon Alexa app. So out of everybody on the team, I'm the one with the most powerful PC. Yep. Mr. Dra and it makes sense. He is Mr. Dragon Blogger. He is the OG dragon that blogs. And um Fine thing is I have an RTX thirty ninety, don't even game FPS games. No games that use it. At all. I pr <laughs> none at all. He literally has a thirty ninety to play a game that a potato Old for the run. king. <laughs> <But> a, <laughs> exactly. He has a thirty ninety that a potato could run. Uh I mean I a, he has a thirty ninety, okay. yeah. I have an AMD uh, Ryzen R9 5900X. I have 64 gigs of RAM. I have two two terabyte SSDs, the same ones you saw in the Samsung stream earlier, and NVMe SSDs. 
and I've got the uh, the RTX 3090. You guys heard that? Oh, right, a whole bunch of other, like, a whole bunch has, of other muscles. He has a Marvel Cinemas worthy rendering machine, and he plays for the king and like. I don't know, Hearthstone or something. Star, tra- Star Traders, Hearthstone, Match the Gathering, you know, the usual stuff. <laughs> it's on Echo devices, and you guys oh, will but, see but, that right but I can, rend- I can render an 8-gigabyte video in just a few minutes. Yeah, like that. All right. That, I use my GPU for my video rendering, so. Yeah. He could also crypto mine, which is terrible, but he could, like, a 30 I would not, I would, I would not do that. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would not do that. I would not. I need that snack, too, later, Bacon. Covered this one because it is in pairing mode. <laughs> I thought that was an Oreo cookie. That's funny. Is that, is that the Oreo cookie connections uh, uh, to your iP- I, uh, iPod Air case or AirPod case? Didn't you have an Oreo cookie AirPod case? You did. Yeah, where is that? Oh, it's over on the shelf. Yeah, I do. I wonder if that's what was seen. The the Oreo cookie AirPod. No case. way. It's, it's it's over there. That's oh, yeah. they saw. I think I think she's talking about the Echo the Echo Dot. Oh. Okay. Hey, is the Echo Dot still plugged in there? Your house. Uh, it is not. It is not. Have any of you guys do any? Let me know in chat. Do any of you guys not have like Alexa or Google Home or any of you guys? Do any of you guys not have a smart home device such as this one? I'm I'm just curious. I want to get like a poll and see how many people just don't use stuff like this. You don't. Mm, I see. <laughs> all right chat so right after this um right after this we're going to be doing a random physical prize giveaway justin i'm sure you know what it is i'm just gonna tell you guys we're gonna I, i'm gonna give away my echo dot if justin's okay with that we're gonna give it away i have the video for it i have the video for it up already this was really a prime day thing so right after the video is done we are going to be giving away my Echo Dot. So yes, it will be used, but it's been only used to showcase to you guys live. So what, about the Echo Gl- what about the Echo Glow, Nate? What about the Echo Glow? No, I need that, man. That's awesome. I'm going to have a kid, <laughs> I'm gonna have a kid soon. Not, I can't, what is it from, uh, the, from it's the right. other guys? He's like, I can't, I can't do drinks. I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Your Amazon account, then you're good to go. If not, then it'll just ask you to select which Wi-Fi you have and put in its password. And then after that, that's all you really have to do. And if you guys aren't familiar with Alexa, here's some of the things you can do. Alexa, where's my order? Two packages for Nate's order were delivered to the front door or porch containing storage cubes and display port cable. By the way, I see that your Amazon cart contains... Yeah, I hear you there. Pretty much any smart TV now is listening always. At any time, Even when you turn it off, you can never be sure. Get the order yeah. total. Just say... Whether it's Samsung, Alexa, Sony, if you have any TV with voice activation... Alexa... Pretty much be assured. How hot is it today in Oklahoma? Today in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, expect a high of 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, play movie trivia. Okay, here's movie trivia. Here's your fact. Stanley Kubrick would reportedly call. You actually think Alexa has some pretty funny responses built. So there's just a quick look at some of the awesome. They they have more humor in the Alexa responses than they do the Siri responses. By the way, I saw you were the most often reviewing products for Prime Day, Nate. What do you mean? We do the most reviews, or I'm confused. Oh no, Rover! I don't think you heard me earlier. I might have been muted. I probably was. So yeah, it broke twice. It failed. Something something about his little 3d model that he did on heroforge.com it, it I, the 3d printer can't replicate a there's a specific portion around the chest where the print fails every time um so i tested a smaller print uh, after it failed earlier today and it it printed fine so something's going on with that exact print that exact uh, one I'm, just i work. made too complicated of a figure in hero forge unfortunately yeah I mean because like i printed this just yesterday this is my Hero Forge character. If you guys can see right there, that's my Hero Forge character. Zero issues with it. Justin's Hero Forge character sucks. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Of course, I, 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 my Hero Forge character is a, a you know a dragon with wings and all these complicated extra features and details. All right, chat. So Echo Dot giveaway right now. So you guys are probably already entered. Uh, you guys have about 30 seconds before we draw. 30 seconds starting in three, two, one. If you haven't entered, if you haven't entered, go ahead and get entered right now. But 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Justin's Hero Forge character. <laughs> My character's defeated before he's born, right? He rolled all threes for his stats. He's a so, failure. So there's there's one right there, Rover. Very, you know, a lot of people have stringing issues with 3D printing where you get like random little strings. You guys can kind of see a string right there on his sword. But like, that's like the it's most I ever yeah, get. Yeah, that's pretty good. Really good, actually. Like I never, I never get stringing issues on my prints, but yeah. I which, fil which filament, which filament was that one? Uh, this is just one I had on hand. Okay. This is just one I had on hand, but you guys can see the details even on like the wood planks. Cause that's, so yeah. I 3d custom designed this. I didn't like sculpt it, but on hero forge, it's such a powerful automatic edi editor or, or 3d modeler. And so this is a little silent. That's PLA, that's PLA not resin. Yep. That is, that is, that is PLA. Good detail for PLA. Really yeah, good detail. Very good wood. detail. Look at that. Very minimal stringing. I mean, you can't see some lines, but I didn't do a very high, uh, small line accuracy. But yes, all right. So we it is time to do yep. our Echo Dot giveaway. So go ahead and draw. Drum roll, please. Good wow. luck in chat. Remember, I when I choose your name, you have to have a USA shipping address, but you could also reject the prize if you don't want it. Yeah. Let it go to somebody else. The winner is. So you have to be in the USA. Wow, this is Richard D in chat. Richard, you, ugh, lucky dude, man. Richard's the guy who won the Toshiba TV last night. Richard really? D. Richard D. Richard D, are you in chat? So that's plastic. Yes, it is plastic. Yep. But I did a so hundred. People got super luck today. So I did a hundred percent infill. So it's very very. If, if, if he's if he's here, if he's here, Richard D, are you here? A little bit of cleanup work needed. Okay, RD, you're here. Do you now? Here's the second question: Do you want the Echo Dot or do you reject the prize claim? There's no yep. substitution. So, do you want it or do you reject? Do you want to pass on it or not? Prize. Okay. Prize. All right. So there we go. I already have. I already have your address from last night since I sent so you. He'll get it over uh, to me. Actually, no, I didn't collect his address because he chose the gift card. Never mind. I will collect your address. I'll send it yep. to Nate. Yep. He is going to go ahead and send me your address. And I have the new electric scooter, which is the next product in today's stream. And all I have to do is just simply grab it. It's like right outside my door. I just didn't want to bring it in while I was. I, di I didn't. I wasn't sure. I knew I was showing it again. I wasn't sure when. So I didn't want it in here in the way. So let me just grab that real quick, chat. Same. all right chat so here we go on with the new electric scooter again and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make some room again here we go so for natalie's section i got all new videos for you to play for natalie's one so oh, do you okay yep that works that works perfectly fine so all right chat i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of do a brief showcase of this because something with my local video playing isn't working right now even though i have footage of this thing I don't know. Of course, I have a, a local video issue today. Yesterday, it was audio. Today, it's local video. So I don't know what's going on. I think Justin needs to send me his his computer. So are you trying to load as a media source, or did you like open up a video player and then just share that application? I opened up a video player, but I did that all day yesterday with zero issues. Yeah. So, all right. This is the new electric scooter. This is the KQI Pro. You guys can see right here that it is a foldable design. This thing has a 30, 30 plus mile range on it. I actually, yesterday, after the stream, I got a terrible headache. So I laid down for a little bit, but it wouldn't go away. So I figured I need to get outside. I rode this around my entire town. I stopped at Subway because the cool thing that you can do with the KQI3 and just really any of them in general is you can lock it. So whenever you get where you want to go, you can go to the app and just hit lock. And so if somebody tries to move it, or if it senses that the wheels are turning, which is obviously somebody trying to move it, it does this super loud alarm so you know somebody's trying to take your scooter, which is really cool. And it has GPS tracking too, which is one of the coolest things about it. The fact that this has GPS-enabled tracking so you can make sure that nobody's going to uh, take it, and even if they do end up like picking it up, 
throwing it in the back of their truck or something, you'll know where it's at, even if it's off. So it is a foldable design you guys can see right here. But the coolest thing is the headlight that's on this. The headlight is super bright. So all you have to do to get this ready to go is simply just fold it up and then you're going to latch this over the top and then just push it up. So now you're good to go. You guys can see here you have a super wide base. This supports up to 220 pounds, I believe is what they advertise. But the coolest thing about this is it's actually, I weigh 235 and uh, I have zero issues with it. At 235 pounds, it doesn't struggle at all. You don't hear anything weird. So that whole, that whole 235 pound thing is uh, really awesome that it supports me. I was kind of worried at first. Um, so this has up to 20 mile per hour speeds on it. You can adjust it. So if you guys order this and you don't live in the US, you can do kilometers per hour. Uh, it's got true metal disc brakes on it. Like all metal disc brakes right here. It's the charging, it charges up all the way overnight. And even then, like within a few hours, it's fully charged. It's incredible. It's got a rear brake light on it. I'll go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see how bright the rear brake light is. Check this out. You guys can see how bright that is. It's got headlights on it as well. And the headlights are super bright. I mean, just as bright as a, a car. I'm not even kidding. It doesn't have the range, but when it comes to brightness, it's got that like little halogen lamp on it. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna try to play local video for you guys. I don't know how well that's gonna go over. And I think it's only local video that's on my Western Digital Black. So you guys can see right here, it just locks and now you're able to carry it. I got the uh, headlight going right now. You guys can see how bright that is. I don't remember how to turn it to the bright setting. We'll go ahead and turn that off. So it is powered down. It's got front and rear brakes. So if you guys find a braking mechanism that uh, you enjoy more, like if you don't like it stopping in the front, you like it stopping in the back, you can do that. But it also has regenerative, regenerative, okay, I can't say it. It has regen braking. And so what that regen braking does is it uses the kinetic energy that is created from the braking mechanisms to, to give battery back to the entire uh, battery capacity. Teslas do that too, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's got a little bell right here, listen to this. It's got a little bell, so it's, it's honestly, it, it's so fun. I'm gonna try one more time to, uh, perfect for downtown, yeah. I'm gonna try one more time to play videos for you guys, all right? So let me go ahead and close out all my little stuff right here. And hopefully we can get a little video in here. I think I think we might be able to. It seems like it messes up whenever I start to mess around with it while it's playing. So we will go ahead and find my little video that I want to show you guys. I need to get you some Dragon Bugger wallpaper for your desktop. Here we go, chat. What do you mean for this, like the desk behind me? No, no, how you were showing your desktop on the screen share right there. Oh, I probably should, to be honest. So this is also the V-Copter Falcon showcase in a way, too. Yeah, it's kind of like a good way to show both in the same video. So you guys can see what I'm doing is I didn't want the remote in my pocket because then obviously the triggers are going to be uh, so kind of sketchy enough. I put it on the scooter. The things I do to sacrifice my equipment for you guys. I've taped a $800 cam or $700 camera to a $100 uh, RC car before. <laughs> and, and flipped it with the camera on it. <laughs> my heart sank when that happened. And the suspension on this. So guys, not only is this scooter awesome, but this V-Copter Falcon is on auto follow mode and keeping up with him at like 20 miles an hour. Yeah, so I'm not controlling the drone at all. It's following me. Something messes up, and I think it was my foot hit it, because you can control the height, but something messes up with the drone right here, and it, it does this. You guys will see here in a second. It does this little, um, it goes down, but it, honestly, even though I didn't want that to happen, it created a Yeah, really he cool did shot. this alone. The drone is auto-following him. He's, he is nobody else as a cameraman. This is just the drone set to auto-follow. And look at this cool little angle it gets right here, chat. Where it goes down low. 
And so I was like, all right, that seems a little bit low. So I think I stop and I kind of, or I use my foot to push it back up. I'm like, all right, let's go a little bit higher, drone. Every breath you take. My, my is the fact that don't forget, Nate's not wearing a head, uh, head helmet in this video and he needed to wear a helmet, so. What do you guys think he's, when you see the terrain? He's, he's not being safe, Nate. He's not being safe, Nate. What do you guys think when you see the terrain of where I live? I just want to know. Just this is this is the V Copter Falcon. If you look at the carousel, just go up. V Copter Falcon's the first, the second product in the carousel. <laughs> Something happens with the V Copter Falcon right here, and I don't know exactly what it is on the auto follow, but you guys can see it tried to like kamikaze me. Watch this. And I was like, hey, hey, what the heck, drone? <laughs> It, it, it was getting mad that I was going so fast and it was like, slow down, dude, or I'm going to ram you. Look at that chat. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what happened. I there. just posted the link to the drone in the chat. But yeah, it, so it's that, absolutely incredible. That is the nuke, new kick. Uh, <laughs> Farm, thank you, Farmland, Farmland GTA. That's funny. This feels like Farmland GTA. All right, let, let's go back one more video. I oh, don't no, see. It's whenever I try to live scroll through them. So if you guys need, first of all, if you need a new drone, check out the auto follow feature on that absolutely awesome is right Someone went wild me. with your mic it, like switched to a different source something's going on here Wait, oh, we should mic. be good now right yeah but now we're good yeah okay but if you guys need a a good way to get around town and like i was saying before it messed up i don't live in a like a a very compact town where everything's really close. I mean, the closest like restaurant to me, like Subway, for example, it's like a mile away. So I just ride this thing over there because I sold my car. And, and so like, I'm not kidding, chat. The new electric scooter has been my vehicle and that's how good it is. I know that sounds kind of corny, but I don't really need a vehicle. Yeah, anymore. he's not kidding. He sold his second car and now he uses the scooter to get around. Yeah, because we, we have my the mom mobile uh, with our Hyundai Santa Fe. And so that's like our grocery getter, our, you know, when when the little baby's here, that's going to be our kid getter, all that stuff. Oh, no, no. He still has the other car. He's they still have one car. This yeah, we still, we still have a really, really good Hyundai Santa Fe. It's like a 2021 or 2020. I don't remember one of those. And uh, so that's our like travel car. And that's our car for when you need a car. But for me, if I just want to go to the store to grab a drink or something, I just use I've been using the new electric scooter to get around town. I'm not kidding, chat. I rode to Walmart the other day, which is like two miles away. And then I, I asked them, I was like, can I just park my scooter like in the front door here? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. So I parked it, locked it, went in, grabbed what I needed. I had a backpack, put it in my backpack, rode back home. It's, it's so fun. It's so fun. And not only is it really good to do stuff like just getting around town. And I imagine it's you're going to get the most benefits from this if you live in like New York City, for example. I know there's some people in chat that do. Um but also, like, it's very good for recreation, too. Like, right, I, wait till winter. You're not going to like it in the snow so much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to, I'm actually going to buy a cheap truck here soon. Just like a beater truck for the winter and picking stuff up, like fridges and stuff. I don't know. Fridges. I don't buy fridges, like, often. <laughs> that was so specific. So specific. How many fridges you, you put in the back of your truck? I'm going to need scooter chains. <laughs> yeah. No, but definitely check out that KQI3, but we're going to switch over to the next product, which is the KQI2. Uh, this is one that Natalie did, so I'm going to go ahead and load up that video for you guys every day. And these are not and these are and these are not the same videos as yesterday. These are new ones that Natalie did. Both of these? Yep, both are new. Now chat, if you guys are for some I, I don't think you are waiting. But if you guys are waiting for my video on the KQI3, um I'm I'm not going to lie. This company makes a lot of other cool stuff and I'm trying to impress them. So on my ultra premium videos, we kind of tell the people that we work with like up to three weeks of so 21 days. I'm not going to take all of it because I've already gotten a ton of footage that I want to use in my ultra premium video. So I'd say about a week left, a week and a half left until I get my my full review. It'll be about a five minute video, but it's going to be a, like a wham, bam, action packed in your face type of video. And I'm super excited to showcase you guys my idea once i bring it to life uh but anyways so, like I said, so nate will take three weeks to create a five minute video james will take an hour to create an hour video 
Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of awesome <laughs> ideas for this drone. Um, some of them, which have already been kind of uh, thrown to the side, like Justin shot me down. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I was going to do this is what I was going to do. And thinking about it in retrospect, it's, it's too corny and too gimmicky. I was going to do on the video where I was going to showcase how good the brakes work. I was going to 3D animate like a crevice in the earth and then acting like I was stopping. And I was like, OK, this isn't Marvel. Like, what? Why do I <laughs> why would I want to do that? But let me go ahead and load up this video of the KQI2. Hey guys, I'm Deer. I'm going to be showing you all this awesome scooter here. So I already have it collapsed. It's one of the really nice things. Get an older pre-1972 Volkswagen bus. Uh, no, thank you. Those sell for, <laughs> especially if they're in good, good condition. Those are like $30,000 buses. About this scooter is that it is collapsible. So if you live in a place that is smaller, hi offer, if you live in a place that's smaller and you also need to commute to and from work, maybe it's within walking distance, maybe it's within biking distance, this is a really good option for you. So first let me go through um, how to set up this bad boy. So in order to um, take it up, so you press down this button right here and I'll lean it all the way up, flip this down, this little clip right here goes. So here's the deal, Faustino, with um with audio leveling. So we have so many creators that it almost becomes impossible to audio level because I can do it live on stream. If I can see that it, the audio is peaking too high, I can manually adjust that, which I tried to do. Um, but we have so many creators that record on so many different platforms. Uh, so iPhone, Android, uh, voiceovers, that it's almost impossible for us to... I mean, we can't be there while they're editing to, you know, do audio manipulation. Uh, but yeah. Goes in and then you clip the whole thing down. And that's going to make sure that it is locked in place and ready to go, ready for you to write it. So setting this up is super, super easy. The only thing it needed was four screws, one on either side of uh, the handlebar, or two on either side of the handlebars, excuse me. Other than that, it was already set up, ready to go, super easy to use. Um, it does come with an entire owner's manual, instruction manual, um, all of its certifications, the customer warranty would, agreement, which is really, really nice because this uh, scooter actually has a warranty for two years. So there is no risk that you're taking there. It comes with extra screws. It didn't even come with just the amount that we needed to use. It has extra. How do you become a host? I'd love to be a part of a team like this. I'll let Justin answer that. Hit me up on Discord and tell the process. I can tell you one thing is I have to live in the United States. I can't get brands to ship products to people outside the USA. So USA resident is required, but I do. We do take applications to join the team. If you live in so the US, he, and you're so he has a US. I know Blake is from Canada. He said that multiple times, but he has a US shipping address. So I don't know. Just speak to Justin offline about it, and if you're interested and it works out, he could. You know, you know, he'll talk to you about that type of stuff ones just in case and it does have a little extension for a pump if your tires need to be filled up and then the instructions as well so not only does it come with that but it also comes with a little like kind of very 90s 80s esque oh yeah so the sticker justin i checked i, I, I didn't get a sticker okay so new if you see this oh, where's my where's my sticker grip tape if you want to put that down maybe only her mom comes in the sticker style well she has a grip tape style i have a rubber style like uh, foot area which i think that i'll probably end up going with something a little bit more rainbow so i think that i'll end up putting no it's on. not but it's not us specifically standard. so super easy to so use. it comes g funds their own that prizes also- and so they're paying for the shipping to go international out of their own pockets yeah that's very different than amazon fba where sellers will ship you from the amazon warehouse so uh, most uh, most brands and clients we work with do don't ship outside the usa market yeah, so and for mean- us, oh, I can't incur the shipping costs because it costs like an extra sixty to one hundred twenty dollars, j- literally just to ship to Canada. It's all extra sixty to one hundred twenty in my pocket. I don't have the budget to do international shipping. Yeah, and so out of pocket. What he basically means by like the FBA is so say a company reaches out and they're like, "Hey, we have this product. We want you to review this product." We look at it and say, "Okay, yeah, we'll review it." They already have that product most of the time in an Amazon warehouse within the US. So all they have to do is go into like their seller portal and say, uh, I need this shipped to this person. Um, the, and if, yeah, there's if also no, there's, happen, no, some- there's no, 
two day prime. You don't get the prime when you cross international borders. Mm-hmm. And some winner of my mystery box provided me with a PO box. And I found out the hard way that it costs a hundred dollars extra to ship to a PO box. So I went down to UPS. I was all ready to ship the mystery box. And then UPS was like, oh, it's a hundred extra dollars to ship to a PO box, even in the United States. So I had to contact that winner and say, hey, I can't ship to a PO box. You got to give me a residential address. So it literally costs just to ship to a PO box. So that's why I don't do PO boxes either. Only USA residential addresses. Oh, what? Uh, Wouter Zell said, "Easy solution. It's like a, I'm not gonna say the word, but crappy, crappy life tips on uh, Reddit. Um, <laughs> crappy life tips just invade Canada. Then, then you guys can get Prime Day eventually after after the dust settles. Uh, <laughs> I saw one the other day, and it was it was just it said something like, uh, "Do you have a um, do, do you have a a completely su- survivable or completely, um, yeah, a completely survivable disease, but you don't want to pay medical bills. Uh, just commit a low level felony and go to prison, and then the the government will have to pay for your health insurance. And I was like, what? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, so that is the new electric scooter KQI two. Um, that is like kind of like the little brother version of the KQI. Her second her I- second video is the one of her riding it. Okay, yeah, let me load up that then. And she wears a helmet. She wears a helmet. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I have a helmet. I, like Nate doing an electric skateboard with flip flops. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be showing off how to ride this super quick. You do need a helmet. Legally, you need a helmet, so make sure you have one. So I'm just going to. Now she says legally. This We cannot give legal advice, so check with your local ordinances. Almost every single state, if it rides on the street, you have to wear a helmet. That goes for e-bikes, electric scooters. Not here. (laughs) (laughs) Every state where they don't want you to incur risk of brain damage. Well, you guys saw. You guys, you guys could obviously see why I don't need a uh, why I don't need a helmet. There's nothing here. (laughs) Like I'm not kidding. Where I live, if you need instruction somewhere, it's going to be like go straight. Then you're going to uh, take another straight, all right? And then one more straight, and uh, you'll be there. But you could still slip and fall off a scooter, hit a pothole, hit a, hit a gopher, whatever, whatever a rodents gopher? run across the road. <laughs> when, okay, first of all, what a terrible example. When has any of you been like, oh, watch out for that gopher? That's never happened. <laughs> like, I, I could see, like, watch out for the deer. Uh, <laughs> hey, Wes, how you doing? Okay, so I know we 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 really squirreled, but there is a give there is a giveaway for a gift card after this product uh, video. Yeah, so if you guys uh, if you guys reminiscent of yesterday's stream, if you guys just want free stuff, just listen to us talk like idiots for about ten minutes, and then we'll be like, oh yeah, or Justin will be like, oh yeah, here's money by the way. That's how it works here. Pretty much, and we can't have you. <laughs> we can't have the three of us in the case stream tonight. Or, no, he won't go to bed, and she's off <laughs> again. Hi. I took this scooter for a spin myself, and it can actually go up to a pretty quick pace. The speedometer is on the handlebar as well. Really like, look how vibrant her, look how vibrant it is here. Steal your man. <laughs> I'm on my way to steal your man. Did you guys hear that? She says, I'm on my way to steal your man. My way to steal your man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's super fun. If you're someone who has like a commute to work or a I like that. that's to funny. Natalie's or anything funny. like that, this would be really, really convenient to own because it's. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that short because what she's kind of explaining is what I explained. It's great for commuting, great for uh, just getting out and about. It's also great for just um, recreation. It's, it's just fun to ride around. And so this is kind of like the little brother to the KQI3. It does support less weight. Um, but so, I mean, really husband and wife type thing, which is really awesome. Yes, yes, it is. So definitely check that out if you guys have been looking to get one. But it is time to do another gift card giveaway. Let's <laughs> shut up and give you guys money. Yep, let's do that. Are we ready? I'm going to draw. Hope people have entered. Oh, I got hat hair. I have no, that's not hair. my wife. My wife is babysitting right now somewhere that's deer like, power that's yeah, our that's, that's our that's power. the guy that was recording his wife i don't know if they're married 
I don't think they are. I think they're just SOs. Well, who's ready? Who's ready for some money? Is Michelle Yu in chat? Michelle Yu. In Michelle chat. Yu. Michelle Yu. He's already prepping the next product. It's already going to Tron. Let's see. Um, Michelle Yu. Ake Amazon handle Bonnie. B-O-N-N-I-E is what Bonnie. it says. Bonnie. Okay, Bonnie is here, so it is yep. time to draw. Congratu to congratulations, Bonnie. Yep, congratulations, Bonnie. You are here to claim. $10 gift card, Bonnie. $10 gift card. Um, I'm already tired. I just put this thing on. I haven't even turned it on. <laughs> It's I'm like Pavlov's like, dog. You're I'm trained. Like, I'm like pre-tired. All right, so congratulations, Michelle Yu, on the $10 Amazon gift card. Let me go ahead and switch over to this product. We're going to take a look at this Brio iDream 5S electric head massager. Um, and so that might sound kind of weird. Uh, what is a head massager? This. This is a head massager. So you guys can see right here that there are a, there's a ton of articulation, first off, in this helmet so if you guys have a small head you're fine so you, you, i'll show you right here you guys have a small head you're perfectly fine but it can expand to fit the hulk if you need to do that which is what i need to do so you guys can see right up here on top it's got these little uh kind of silicone soft touch bristles and what those do is they kind of inflate on your head to give pressure on the back side right here which is the neck portion they have these little inflation um, points right here that kind of just apply pressure um, the, I'll be honest, I'll just say this to get it out of the way. This was a little bit uncomfortable for me, but your guys' experience with it might, I mean, will, will more than likely vary. You are glistening. Well, I, I washed my, it's not hot in here, actually. I washed my face before and I put on lotion. Maybe I did too much lotion. <laughs> uh, so you have those little points right here on the side. So like your temple. If you guys look right right here where I'm pointing, they also have more of those rubber um, silicone soft touch, just like this, but on the inside. And then on the front, if you guys can see right here, this is actually a two-way mirror in a way. These inflate and warm up around your eyes to also massage your eyes. Uh, the control is right there. There's two different modes. So there's one mode where it just does massage. And then the second mode is where it does, uh, it plays like very calming music and birds and all the happy-go-lucky Teletubby stuff right there. Um, so there's really not a lot to getting this ready. You have to charge it when it shows up. But all you have to do is just simply put it on your head. So we'll go ahead and put it on my head like this. And I'm going to kind of tilt it down. And so what I do is I put it to where you don't want this sitting on top of your head because what it's going to do is it's going to inflate and that's going to create too much pressure. So you want it just barely above your head and then tighten it down. So we'll tighten it down and it creates a nice snug fit. Now you guys can't see me. I mean, I mean, you can see me. You guys can't see my eyes. I am now, I am now invisible. He's like Drax. He yeah, can't I'm Drax. see him. Now. I'm sure I've, I've mastered the, the art of becoming so incredibly still that I am naked or that I am, that I am naked, that I am invisible to the naked eye. He's like, Drax, we can see you. You're eating chips. And he's like, I'm sure I'm invisible. <laughs> So now that we have it on, we're just going to hold this down and it will go right off rip. So right now what's happening is on the back, it is applying pressure to my neck. And then on the front, it's applying pressure to my eyes and heat. And it immediately makes you close your eyes. I mean, it doesn't like force your eyes to close, but it just feels so good that your eyes, um, want to like just close and relax that is honestly my favorite part of this and so also on top it's applying those bristles to the top of my head the only thing i wish they would have done on this instead of having the air pressure on top make it articulate make it kind of spin in a circle because then that would kind of like brush your head like almost like when you guys were younger and your mom ran her fingers through your hair if that ever happened that's kind of what i mean it's also applying pressure on both sides to my temples, which are pressure points, so it feels really good. 
And it's playing music too. So we'll go ahead and switch to mode two. Imagine just me wearing this the entire stream. People join the stream and they're like, what is going on here? Honestly, we don't know. We don't know. Oh, it just feels so good. I'm, I'm going to take this off because yesterday, I'm not kidding, I legitimately got tired. So this is the Brio iDream 5S. It works super, super well. And if you guys need a good way to relax, I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah, it made me tired immediately, chat. I'm not kidding. No joke, I'm sleepy. Mode 5 head crush. <laughs> Decapitate. <laughs> um, so you guys can see right there, very easy, very simple to use. Does a really good job of massaging your entire head. It massages your temples, the top of your head, the back, the, the side of your head. It massages your eyes as well, which is my favorite part. So if you guys need a new head massager, you definitely have to check this out. It's really, really interesting, very easy to use, and just works super, super well. Let me go ahead and put this right here. Yeah, the Brio iDream 5S is absolutely awesome. So comfortable. The only portion I don't like, and this is just an opinion, this isn't like an issue, is just the back part right here. But I've, 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 I've honestly never really enjoyed like back of the head massages, if that if that makes sense. Maybe I have a that base of that base of my neck where it meets the skull. That's where I mostly need shouts and needing massages. Yeah. Yep, mofo. <laughs> Sorry, lack of sleep. It's all good. But we're going to go ahead and switch over to the next product in today's stream after the awesome head massager. And now I'm sleepy. Um, we're going to take a look at the Eufy HomeVec H30 Venture. Uh, Eufy is anchor. And right now this is great Prime Day deal. $99. So this is 60 bucks off, my friends. 60 bucks off. So I'm going to go ahead and play my video that I have for that. But so and we I, gave and we gave away one of these yesterday. Candy G was the winner. Yeah, Candy G, congratulations by the way. That was awesome. I was super excited for you. 2.5 pots of coffee. Oh my. How do you guys drink so much coffee, man? Oh, please don't tell me I'm doing the what to call it again today. Cuz I'm going to I'm because if I am, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it and I'm going to try it again just to be <laughs> disappointed. Am I? I'm not doing the, am I? Come on, let's keep going. I'm going through the chat. Okay. So I'm not doing the Michael. An okay, good. Not that I, not that I don't like it. It's just that I know that if I were to showcase it, I'd make coffee, I'd drink it and I wouldn't like it. And <laughs> force him to make espresso and, and drink it. Force. I know. Forced. I get forced. Yeah, that's right. You guys don't see it, but off camera, Michelangelo representatives are in my house pointing guns at me. <laughs> Make the espresso. That's right. You guys can leave, by the way. Just go ahead. We're not we're not showcasing your product. I'm sorry, okay? Um, but anyways, yeah, before before I go down a rabbit hole of ADHD, let me let me play the video. I, I told you I was gonna play two minutes ago. Okay, this stream's gonna be six hey, hours. Let's face guys? it. Nathaniel with Dragon. <laughs> No, it's not. It's Blogger not. Tech and Entertainment. And today we're, we're going to be taking a look at this HomeVac H30 Venture by Eufy. And so as you guys can see right here, there's not a lot to the H30 Venture. You guys can see that I'm holding it. It's very portable and it's very lightweight. The first thing in the box that you're going to notice is you get this base that is attachable to the wall if you choose to do that. You're going to get this adjustable attachment head and then you're going to get a wide mouth head in order to just scoop up more at one time. Then you are going to get the battery. You are going to get instruction manuals as well as warranty information in this little box. You're going to get mounting screws for the base, like I said earlier. Then you're going to get a little cleaning bristle. Then you're going to get a basically a do and don't card. And then finally, the charging cable. And this is everything that comes inside of the box with this. To get this set up, it's very simple. Just take the battery that I showed you beforehand, and you're just going to slide it in the back right here until you hear a nice audible click. And once you do that, the next thing after that you have to do is basically just turn it on. To do that, all you have to do is hit this power button and just select which mode you want. So you have Eco and Max. Eco doesn't have as much suction strength as Max, but it also saves your battery, which is why it is called Eco in the first place. So to test out the H30 vent. Oh, okay, okay. So somebody said that coffee is good for uh, coffee is good for heart health. Yes, like one cup a day, not. 14 cups. 
that much caffeine is not good for anybody. That's enough. That's enough caffeine for an elephant. That's ridiculous. I'm sure what I wanted to do is just pull up one of my couch cushions here. And we already have some stuff on the couch, but I don't think that's going to do a good enough job to showcase how well this vacuum works. So we're going to sprinkle some salt against my better judgment. Just don't tell my wife. So what we'll do now is we'll use the wide mouth head that I'm showing you guys right here to attach them. All you have to do is simply slide them off. And if you want to remove them, they just pop right off. So right now we are in eco mode and we'll kind of go over this slow just to see how good of a job this does while using the eco mode suction strength. And you guys can see it does leave a little bit behind, but with a couple passes, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now we are on the max mode right here, and this definitely does do a lot better of a job at getting everything up. But just keep in mind that this is going to kill the battery on it a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and speed all of this up just so you guys Justin, check uh, DMs guys can kind of see this going through the paces of cleaning everything it really surprised me how well this worked and how good of a job it did getting everything up and you guys can see right in there it even got some stuff that i wasn't even aware was on the couch then we'll go ahead and do the top of this uh, you guys can see right here it's got enough suction strength where it gives you those nice like carpet lines or those cleaning lines again we'll go ahead and speed this one up one of the things that i wanted to talk about is just how impressed i was with the h30 venture it does such a good job but it's such a small form factor vacuum that it was honestly very surprising to me how well it worked you guys can see right there we got those nice clean carpet lines or those cleaning lines right there and the coolest thing about this is once you're done all you have to do is set it back on the charging base so once you are done you're good to go for the next time so if you guys have been looking for a new vacuum i highly recommend this one and i'll see you guys on the next video All right, so that is the Anchor or Eufy by Anchor Homeback H30 Venture. Right now, that is 60 bucks off chat. Great deal on it. Super awesome. Candy G won one of those yesterday. So if you guys need a new uh, like little handheld vacuum, that's super, super powerful. Definitely check out that one. $60 off. Prime Day deal. Don't miss out. Add it to the cart chat. Switching over to the next product in today's stream, we are going to be doing uh, the RoboVac X8. The RoboVac X8. I Hybrid. hybrid and the coolest thing about this is so this has all of the vacuuming functions suction strength as the x8 itself but it also has a mop attachment and the cool thing about that is it's cheaper now than getting just the base x8 not the x8 hybrid so right now this is 379 dollars chat 379 dollars it's 270 dollars off this is the best robovac i've ever used um so we're going to go ahead and load up the video for you guys. And then after this video, we will we will be doing our gift card giveaway, the next one. So uh, go ahead and make sure you guys get entered. If you're if you're here in chat, you haven't already got entered, uh, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Be sure you go there and get entered to win the gift card right after this. So I will go ahead and load that up. Maybe. Maybe. Here we go. Now I will. Hey, what is going on, guys? I'm Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Eufy X8 Hybrid Vacuum Mop from Anchor. This is an absolute beast of a robotic mop vacuum combo. So let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that it does. Inside of the box, there are quite a few things. So let's go ahead and make sure that you know everything in it. You're going to get an instruction manual, the mop attachment, as well as some replacement pads. And then you are going to get another filter that you need to make sure you get installed. So once that's installed, you should be good to go. You're also going to get some zip ties to clean up the floor. You're going to get the charging base itself. And then you are going to get the charging cable that is used with the charging base. And then, of course, you are going to get the vacuum itself right there. And taking a closer look at the vacuum itself, you guys can see right here, it's got a very simple but also very modern design. On the top right here, you have that Eufy logo. You have that really nice copper branding all the way around it. On the front up here at the top of the system, you have all of your controls. You have the carbon fiber look. Flipping it over to the back side of this, you guys can see everything right here is really well made. 
So your bristle attachment right here actually has this really nice rubber attachment around the bristles and these are basically going to help with rigidity and just having these bristles last a longer time. And you can see in the suction portion right here you have your normal Bill, you will be drunk if you do that. Normal carpet bristles, but you also have the purple. That's like playing that game when I say gooseneck on a And speaking of the mopping <laughs> peaker, this is where the mop video. attachment goes. Yeah. So getting that installed is very simple, which we will show you guys how to do just here in a little bit. So you guys can also see that on the bottom of the vacuum that you have these two tires with these lifting mechanisms. And that's basically going to help this robot vac go between carpet and hardwood without any issues right there. So everything is very well made on that. But let's go ahead and show you guys how to get this thing up and running so we can get your home clean in no time. So the first thing you want to do to get the setup is download the Eufy Home app. Once that's launched, go ahead and type in add device and you're going to select robot vacuums. Continuing on, you're obviously going to select X8 hybrid and now you'll see that it will pop up because we did. Siren, you have come at the right time. After this video, we're doing another gift card giveaway. So listen, chat, if you guys have not already entered, be sure to get entered to win our gift card. Uh, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. We're narrowing down on getting close to the $100 gift cards. They're still there. So we have not given those away yet. Um, so the, and every time we don't pull one of those gift cards, we pull like a $5 one. It's just creating the pool small or it's making the pool smaller and smaller and getting closer and closer. So right now is the time. Are you entered Misty Castor? If I will have Mr. Dragonblogger check. Turn on the vacuum. It automatically enables Bluetooth it's not already paired. And then you are going to type in your Wi-Fi network name and password. And then once you have that paired to Wi-Fi, you guys will see right here that it gives you a little bit of instruction on how to place the charging base. Just telling you a notice to basically pick up before this thing goes out in vacuums. And then it also gives you some information on how this thing will create a map. Now you are inside of the app and you guys can see right here we have a ton of features. Up there at the top you have battery life, total cleaning time, the cleaning type. Go to the link, Misty. I don't see that you're entered right now. If you, I think, I think I remember seeing you enter before the stream started, right or before I cleared the giveaways. So yeah, go ahead so and Misty, enter. Misty. If you entered before the stream, then we reset it at the beginning of the stream. So go ahead and <laughs> yeah. get entered. But we'll give you guys any entry. Yeah, any video. entries prior to 12 p.m. Pacific were cleared and purged, so you have to re-enter. Yep. Power, Turbo Max, and Boost IQ. The Boost IQ works really well by basically reading what type of surface it's on and adjusting the suction. Serene, you're definitely entered. And then the next thing that you're going to have is up here in the top right. Is it would tell you if you entered. Just visit the page. Go to dragonbarger.com slash enter, enter live, and it basically go, shows you if you entered history, or not. You don't have to ask you me. Have voice you can just settings, see. It tells you exactly what entries you're, you're valid and how many entries you have. This is basically it tells you right on the Gleam widget on the page. Yeah, so go in. If you see that, if you don't see that you're entered, re-enter. That means you entered before the stream started. To replace those. So like all said, entries are optional except the email. The only one that's required is that you have to sign up for our email newsletter and be an email subscriber. The rest are all optional. They only boost your odds, but they're not required. Yeah. Yep. Mop head attachment is very easy. All you have to do is slide it on there. It'll click and you're good to go with that mop attachment. That's all there is to it. And you guys are ready to get this thing on the base. All right. And you guys can see that right here we have. Guillermo, you should be good then. Have this installed on the base, but don't do what I did here. Make sure you have three feet of clearance on either oh. side, so forward, oh. left, and right. Otherwise, whenever this thing does try to go in clean, all it's ultimately <gasps> going to end up doing is turning around and running back into its base. So this right here is just a little time lapse. You guys can see this thing does a really good job of following the wall and honestly hugs the corners really well. One of the really incredible things about this is you guys are going to see how tight it holds around this little desk that I had set up. I purposely set it like this to see if it would be able to navigate itself into this little cranny right here and then also navigate itself out and did a really My good job side. of doing that. And then regardless, if you told it to go back to its home or it does it itself after the battery is dead, this thing goes right back. The Eufy X8 does a phenomenal job vacuuming your carpets. And yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Carpets. If you guys have been looking for a very easy to I have the X8, vacuum, not the hybrid. I highly recommend this one from Eufy, and I will see you guys on the next video. All right, so here's what I need you guys to do. I need you guys to type this in chat. I need you guys to type I love Eufy in all caps. And the reason I want you guys to type I love Eufy in all caps is because I lied to you, chat. Okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fully honest. I lied to you guys. Everyone type, I love Yuffie, because we're not giving away a gift card. 
We are giving away a Eufy X8 hybrid vacuum within the next two minutes. So we are giving away one of these vacuums. Check this out, chat. Hold on. Everybody type I love Eufy because they sent me an extra RoboVac X8 to give away, chat. Think about that. We are giving away a RoboVac X8. So I'm going to give you guys two minutes. I'm going to give you guys two minutes to get entered if you haven't already, just to make sure. Or if you guys didn't want to get entered or you didn't want to do all of your entries, bada boom, bada bang, dragonblogger.com forward, forward slash enter live. If you didn't do everything just because you didn't care that much, go, go back real quick and try to do the other things to get more entries. I want you guys all to have the max chance to win this. It is U.S. only. Uh, there's no substitution on this one. So this is U.S. only. This is the big one. Six hundred. This is a six. Well, it's three eighty now, but this is normally a six hundred and fifty dollars. So this is the big. Uh, no, this, this is, is the, the X8 big. hybrid, the exact one you see in the carousels, the one we're yep. giving away. This is the hybrid. Yep, we are giving away this one right here. So this is the big giveaway. Uh, that is a good lie. Yeah, I bet I sold it pretty well. Chat, <laughs> go get entered. You guys have about one minute, a minute and a half left or so. Exactly. What a steal. Usually five to six hundred dollars. Yeah, it is. First of all, it's a great deal. But also don't go buy it yet, chat, because you you guys are going to be able to potentially win this right now. I love you, Fee. Someone's going to win this right now, live on stream, unopened, brand new. You're not winning mine that has dog hair and stuff in it now. All right. So it's been about a minute. Hey, Nate, can I send you to my referral link and you enter? Can I? Yes, but do it on Discord. Nate's angry. Accidentally refreshed and won't verify you. Yes, but be sure if you it, buy it from our cares. Who should you buy? They're like supporting us and I love it. All right, so should, should, should you buy is another influencer, Amazon influencer. Oh, I appreciate that. Should you buy? Thank you. I, th I think so. Yeah. I love you a long time. Thanks for stopping by. So listen, chat, we're going to go ahead and draw the winner now. Uh, but before we do that, I feel like I need to do something grand. Like, I don't want to just like be like, all right, this is who it is. Uh, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do this fast. So we're going to go ahead and draw now to see who's going to win the Eufy X8 hybrid. Super awesome. I hope. I hope you guys win. Remember, you do have to be a U.S. resident. Or, I hope you guys win. I hope one of you win. Well, one of you is going to win. Well, I hope one of you guys win, wins. He Justin comes on. It's nobody. And he just has to <laughs> ship it to him because he wants it. <laughs> um, so here's the deal. If you guys don't live in the U.S., one thing that you guys could do, if you have family here that or a friend that you want to receive this, um, you could obviously do that. So here we go. Go ahead and draw, Justin. Or message Justin. Go ahead and message me the winner, and then I'll do like I'll I'll say it. He's gonna message, message me the winner. I just messaged Nate the winner. Okay, so here we go. Wow, here we go, chat. This is awesome. So the person that has won this Yuffie X8 is going to be drum roll, please. Brrr. It's going to be Wouter Zell. Wouter Zell has won, and he just won a gift card earlier. Wouter Zell, congratulations. You have won the Eufy X8 Hybrid. Are you in the U.S.? I just need to know that right now. Congratulations, Wouter. That is awesome. Are you here? Wouter, you have one minute to claim. I think he is, because I think he's won a mystery, a mystery box before. Well, he also won. Or, um, or he, is, he basically ships it to he, his He won a I gift think. card like just earlier. Just earlier. And he hasn't claimed yet, chat. Oh, no. Wouter, you got to be here. No. Wouter Actually, Zell is here. Congratulations, Wouter. You are in the U.S., right? He has a USA shipping address, I think, from July 4th. That was the last time he won a prize. Okay. So congratulations, Wouter. You have won the Eufy X8 Hybrid. 
Uh, super awesome. I'm super excited for you. This thing is a beast. This will be shipped out. Uh, <laughs> that's that Misty. That is between you and Wouter. But I'm pretty sure he's going to keep this because this is an awesome prize. So congratulations. But listen, chat. Yeah, confer confirm you want the prize first. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Listen, chat, you don't have to leave yet because we still have our $100 gift cards. We still have our $100 gift cards to give away, and it's getting closer and closer and closer to it. So congratulations to Wouter. You have won the UT X8 hybrid. I will set this down right here, and this will be shipped out. Uh, I can create the shipping label today, actually. All right. You got to do that one. You got to do that one. You got to do the home vac. You got a bunch of stuff to ship. Yep, I do. Um, the 200 followers update has kind of slowed down. We haven't gotten that many this stream. Mm, yeah, it's not not flowing like it was this morning. Yep. So but normally, probably not going to so, happen. So here, here's the deal. If it doesn't happen today, what we did for 5,000 followers is we did a $25 Amazon gift card. Because we all on my streams, we always do five. So if it doesn't happen today, the $200 gift card won't happen. But when we hit 6,000, probably another 25. Um, I'm sure if we... Once we get close to ten thousand, we'll do another big giveaway, regardless of what yeah. happens. When we when if we're it happens close, today, I'll do two hundred dollar gift card, but only if it happens today during during the Nate stream and the Kata stream tonight. Yeah. Yep. So, but on the ten thousand giveaway, you guys def or ten thousand follower giveaway, which we're gonna get there. We will get there. It might not be like immediate, but we're gonna get there. We'll do something cool for that. So, anyways, continuing on, we're gonna take a look at this Imuum chainsaw. MOM chainsaw. And if you guys, yeah. well, 5,000 5, followers. If you're not louder, 5,000. Oh my gosh. Well, we already hit 5,000 followers. Five grand. Yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> that type of funding is not, is not existent. Yeah, except we gave away about over 2K in prizes between the last two days so far. So, yep. yep. Getting there. All right. So, we're going to take a look at this MOM chainsaw, which is a really good chainsaw to have in your garden. It's really good for gardening. How many do you have right now? I don't know. Probably about 5,800 or so. 50, 58, somewhere Sli in the 5,800. Sli slightly range. over. Yep, slightly over. In between 5,800 and 5,850. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with John, if you want to front the 5,000, hey, if you want to front $5,900 to the giveaway winner uh, or the uh, 6,000 follower giveaway, I'll, I personally will do the other 100. I just need 5,900. I'm not asking for a lot, and I'll need your social security number and your bank account info. That's all I'll need. Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Oh, wait. You're not from the U.S. You don't have a social security number. Never mind. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this little beast of a mini chainsaw, the MOM Live 6-inch electric chainsaw. This chainsaw is absolutely awesome. So as you guys can see here on the front, like I said before, you do have a six inch blade, which is pretty cool. So it's going to be really good for gardening and you can see all around the body you're going to have. Hold on. Why is my 3D printer not 3D printing? I started that print a long time ago. Oh, that camera froze. Really? That's new. That camera froze. Okay. Have that yellow and black design that's going to wrap all the way around. You have a soft touch material right here on the handle, your trigger right here, which will not activate until you squeeze this safety that you can see right here. So you're good to go and not cut off your fingers while using this thing. You're going to have a valve right here that is going to allow you to apply some of that chain oil that you can put in here that you need to put in there before you use it just for safety measures. So this thing is definitely really really good for things like working around the house in the garden. Real, real quick question, chat. Do any of you guys' eyelids ever twitch? Mine's been twitching the last like three days, like every so often. Like my eyelid, like right here in the corner, it like twitches. What does that mean? Somebody let me know. Because I don't want to like WebMD it because then, I, then I'll find out that I have like some terminal illness or something. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Googling what, why. Yeah, my, I have my mind twitches randomly. Chill out, yeah. pugs. So sometimes too. But but I, I'd really like to know why I've been dizzy for six weeks and hasn't gone away yet. Hold on, pugs. You can't say that. I just said I don't want to do maybe dehydrate. <laughs> or it means I'm lying. No, it's been twitching for like three days. I wonder if it's a COVID thing. Uh, getting well, down it overhanging to, it branches. Nerves, it's not obviously going to cut down a tree or anything eyelids. like that with that six inch blade, but you will be able to do that with smaller things. And I don't drink coffee. I only drink water. Well, I'm lying to you. I, I've been drinking a lot of water. Maybe it has a time or two before stress, maybe? I'm not stressed. Am I stressed? 
Let me make myself stressed to see if I was already stressed. Let me think about <laughs> let me think about my bills and responsibilities as an adult. Um, okay, so now I am now under a lot of stress. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> make make, make him tear up and cry on cue. It, it Get could, back it, in that tear. It, it could be it could be a sleep thing. I don't sleep well. And it does come with two 21 volt lithium ion batteries, as you can Not see enough, here, one right here, as well as <laughs> except food also is poking out the eye. So all you have to do is get these in installed, as you can see. I'm doing right here. All you have to do is just simply slide it down. Yep. You know, it's funny. One of the people when I asked who, to, what would you go. print for the 3D printer if you won? One of the person in my in my Facebook actually said a voodoo doll. A voodoo doll, really? <laughs> That's funny. I'm a, I'm going to while this is playing make my 3D printer. Bite box bigger. Oh no, you would have to do that. I can't do that. Can you do that, Justin? Make the 3D printer box bigger. How much you... bigger? Like if you see this, if you see it, make it yeah. to where I still have yellow around it, but Just fill it as much right as you can right there. Okay. Okay. I'll take care of that. Okay. Thank you. So, like I said before, now that the battery's in, be a little bit more careful around this. It will not go. I wear until many hats. Some of that includes right graphic there. design. And while you're using this, I highly recommend. So, Wiley, that is not the same 3D print from yesterday. Justin's 3D modeling sucks. And for some reason, my 3D <laughs> printer just can't do his print. I have it around here somewhere. I'll show you how it tests. So, somehow, Justin rendered a Hero Forge uh, asset that was defective and he can't print it. And for some reason, my 3D printer, I don't know if it's the movement because the movement of the G code or something happens with his that messes it up. So, we're reprinting this, which will be done by the end of the stream, but in the new filament. So, we'll see if it is for sure his or if it's. Uh, my 3D printer. Men using safety glasses, and they do send you a pair of safety glasses. So let's go ahead and get this thing <laughs> tested out and see how well it works. So this is it right here. This is his 3D print. I know that looks crazy. That's just the support. I'm going to try to break this off and show you how it messed up. And I already broke, I accidentally broke off one of his wings while trying to get this to go away. But yeah, something is just weird about this 3D print. That's where it messes up is at the base. I don't know what happens there. So as you guys can see here, this little mini chainsaw made quick work of those pretty thick overhanging branches that you guys could see there. So if you guys have been looking for a new chainsaw hey, or around yeah, the I house, your, around your, the garden, your I highly recommend this one for anyone. And I'll see you guys Thank in the next video. All right. So if you guys need a new chainsaw, definitely check out that one from MOM. 115 bucks. But on to the next product, my friends. We're going to take a look at this Yosuda rowing machine. Yosuda. I like that name. It's very satisfying to say. Justin, what are you clicking around for? Get out of the sheet. <laughs> why are you why are you clicking so fast in the sheet? Oh, because I was I was scrolling down to see where the next gift card giveaway is. I was like, oh my gosh. Because I can live see what he's like, Google Sheets is awesome. I can live see what he's doing. And he's like clicking, like going crazy. He's cracked out on coffee right now. <laughs> that is the same video, chat. I'm going to blame Justin. This Yasuda indoor rowing machine is an absolutely fantastic. Yeah, sure, blame me. I'm watching the unique video you're right now. Once you put it right together now. with only yeah, 10 screws <laughs> and about 20 minutes of time, you could fold it up just like this. All you have to do is unscrew the locking mechanism and the pin. So you just screw the I actually need to do a new here, video of the Yasuda. And then it I'll stays folded up in weekend. a vertical position. Doesn't I've take used long. it. This if was the first day I got it. Where I just day, started using it, but I've used it a lot space. of times. Since it's then. easy to do. Just simply screw it in, lock it up, and then take it out the next day. Or maybe you only row on weekends. You just lock it up and slide it in a corner. What I really love is just how little space it takes up when it's folded up. You could just put it right away in a corner in a living room oh, or an office awesome, or a bedroom with a lot of extra space, and it takes up almost no room at all. Among the most folding fold.
It is among the most foldable rowing machines I've ever seen. Just now, the magnetic character. resistance on the rowing okay. machine here gives you a lot of different resistance levels, and it works out about 90% of your muscle you groups. I really love rowing machines because they're great for your core back muscles, your shoulders. I'm going to pause this real quick, guys. So I'm going to show you I, Justin's... I, I ain't got time to go create another Hero Forge character. How long honestly. does this take? That one, about seven minutes. What do you mean about seven minutes? What is up with you in saying approximately and then the exact time? It, uh, about, about, about seven minutes and 43 seconds. So here is your Hero Forge character, Justin. Obviously, it will be delayed. I got a call. I got a step away. Yep. So that is his Hero Forge character that he messed or that he messed up. So the wing broke off, but that's because of me. But the issue that I was having with this Hero Forge character is right here. So the 3D printer couldn't do something on this base. And also he has he had this little part right here. This I broke this off on on accident. You guys can see right here, but check that out. The detail on it is still incredible. Very minimal stringing. You guys can see the tail detail is really interesting. And so it's supposed to have two wings and a base. So really where it messed up is the base. And I broke the wing off. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to getting it a successful print. I broke this off in the wing, but the base is where it messes up. I love the colors. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Evans, that was, that was, that was funny that you said that too. Yeah, I have this filament that does this really cool gradient design. Anyways, back to the Yosuda your arms and your legs. They have slip resistant foot pads and it just is so quiet. This fact, this rowing machine is so quiet that my son was actually rowing while we were watching Stranger yes. Things Season 4. So yes, it is just plastic, um, but I used 100% infill. So on the insides where you guys can't see, like on the inside of like the wing, it's 100% infilled. So just solid all the way through. Most people print at like 20 or 30 infill. I did 100% on this, which is why it also took so long. You guys can see right there. And that might be part of the issue last night and it doesn't make hardly any noise at all it tracks your time tracks your distance tracks how many rows and you can see the stand on the top of it is big enough to hold a big tablet or a phone with ease so now it's not a smart machine it doesn't have any ai it just does uh, analog digital tracking and you put batteries into the display but the slide is smooth on the seats it provides incredible magnetic resistance, and you could just turn the knob to adjust resistance levels. And I use the rowing machine at the gym all the time, and this is as good as any professional rowing machine I've ever used. If you're looking for a rowing machine that will help you burn those calories, work out your muscles, and just give you a good upper and lower body workout combined, this Yusuda Indoor Magnetic Rowing Machine is just fantastic. My son had never used a rowing machine before, and he was super impressed at just how well it worked out his shoulder muscles, his back muscles, and his pecs. Now, he's a huge fan of it, uses it twice a day, even while watching TV. Again, it's extremely quiet, and of course, the dogs get excited while he uses it, but I've made a total rowing machine fan out of him. This rowing machine could support up to 350 pounds, somebody who's up to six foot six in height. It has plenty of room to go back and forth. Again, anti-skip pedals, folds up when it's not in use. This is a fantastic rowing machine and it is highly recommended if you want to work out at home all right so if you guys need a new rowing machine you know which one to get definitely check out that yosuda magnetic rowing machine uh right now 329 chat that is 329 dollars it's 80 bucks off on prime day so if you guys have been looking to get into fitness or continue your fitness journey whatever the reason is you definitely need to check that out uh, we're going to switch over to the next product which i will showcase live to you guys the best i'm not okay chat listen I'm not kidding. This is the best Bluetooth speaker I've ever used. This is the best Bluetooth speaker. So and just to kind of put this into perspective with how good this Bluetooth speaker is, I'm keeping it. Whenever I do these product reviews, I immediately think if I want to give it away to you guys or not. And my plan, I'm not going to lie, my plan was to give this away to you guys during the live stream. But it's so good that I'm keeping it. So right now it's $179 which is a great, great deal for this Bluetooth speaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of back up and showcase to you guys everything about it. So you guys can see right here, this is the whole design. You have two tweeters on the inside. You also have two speakers right here. You have two passive speakers, which are going to add, uh, act as your subwoofers, basically. You have a large charging handle. You also are going to have 
this bad boy right here so you can carry this around. Um, taking a look at the back, that is your charging port right there. It is a very thick silicone because this is water resistant, so it's great for pool parties. Controls are up on the top. You guys can see that you have power, you have different modes, um, you have audio selector, so a bunch of different stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. You guys can see we have it plugged in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way, and I'm just going to set this bad boy right here. I'm going to set this bad boy right here, kind of get some stuff out of the way. Look at that, chat. I don't really like the way it's displayed right there. It doesn't give it justice, in my opinion. There's not enough justice, chat. So let me go ahead and play some music. i got to load up the YouTube audio library again. I'll sit on my desk once more. Sit on my desk again. Just this is this is this is such a good Bluetooth speaker. It's gonna get loud, so audio warning. All right, so let's find a good song to play. Let's do some, let's do some R and B or something. Let's try this one. Uh, that's a dark. So right now, chat, we're gonna start playing this at about fifty percent volume. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle loud, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, the highway, I'm in the driveway. It's a nice strange, it's a grind. And so, just to top it all off, also my cow lick from my head headphone hair. <laughs> DJ Nate in the building. That one, that song sucks. Let's do a different one. I really like the as you fade away, so we're gonna play that one again. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going on, I thought a chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up my thoughts, it in an day. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never... see right there that this bluetooth speaker sounds absolutely awesome you know who that reminded me of that reminded me of if you guys are rock fans rage against the machine the the riffs the the distortion that really sounded like rage against the machine you know from the 90s wow that was even the even the vocals sounded like it so if you guys need a new bluetooth speaker 
look no further. I'm serious, chat. I know I tell you guys to add stuff to the cart all the time. Re forget everything I've ever said. If you guys ever do purchase one thing that I've recommended, it needs to be this. I wish I could I wish I could elaborate. I wish I could elaborate it more how good this Bluetooth speaker is. It's a beast. It sounds so, so, so good. It sounds amazing. It really does. It's the best Bluetooth speaker I've ever used, period. Bar none. I love Anchor. I really do. I love Anchor. They they just <laughs> It's honestly incredible how good, how good they make stuff. And they make so many different things. They have so many sub brands. So Soundcore is Anchor. Eufy is Anchor. And Eufy has a, a ton of stuff under its umbrella. Then they have the Zero Zero Copter or the Zero Zero V Copter Falcon. It's just like, at what point, at what point do they just not, at what point do they fail in making something? They don't. They just don't. It's crazy. Next giveaway for the gift card right now. All right, so definitely check out that Bluetooth speaker, but the next giveaway now is going to be a gift card. Let's see if we can make this $100. But Justin, did you you didn't see it. So there is your print. All the details besides where it failed came out amazing. Look at the tail. Just look yeah, at look the cool. tail. You guys can't even see lines on, on uh, PLA either almost because I use super quality. So you can barely, barely, barely see the lines. Amazing. All right, so here we go. Gift card giveaway time, chat. JC Mom of Three. Gift JC card Mom of Three, you are the winner. JC, are you here still? I know you have been in the chat. Are you here? Speak now or never, ever speak again. She is here. She is here. All right. So the amount is going to be. $20. $20. JC Mom of Three, you have won a $20 Amazon gift card. Congratulations. We're going to keep rolling in today's stream. Don't leave. So we just eliminated $20, which is obviously one of the nicer amounts for gift cards. That means we're just getting closer and closer and closer to those higher amount gift cards. $100. One of you guys are going to win. Uh, we're going to get it and hopefully, um, hopefully we get it done on my stream. I want to be the one. Anyways, there's actually, there's actually two $100 in there. So two $100 in there. So come on, please let it be me. We're going to take a look at this Gusku. What am I doing? We're going to look at, take a look at this, uh, Gusku mini stroller clip on fan for babies. So I am going to just basically do a little quick rundown on this. There's not a lot to be said about it because it is just a fan. But what I do need to talk to you guys about is the gooseneck on this thing. Oh, my gosh. The gooseneck on this fan is incredibly strong. So you guys can see here that I have this kind of like salmon pink version. And the gooseneck on this is one of the strongest goosenecks I've ever seen for a gooseneck. So this is fully adjustable. You guys can see that you guys can move the gooseneck around, get it wherever you want it. So you can clip it on a stroller. For example, if you want it, say this was your stroller bar. All you would have to do is basically just twist this around your stroller bar like I'm doing here. And it's 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 pretty strong, so it's, it's definitely not going to budge once it's on. And I'll just show you guys. So imagine that's your stroller. That thing's not going to move at all. It's not going to go anywhere. Coolest thing about this is this does have... Yesterday, I kind of lied to you guys, or I was ignorant when I told you guys that you have to have a power source. You don't. So this charges, so it can run continuously off of the USB-C charging cable that's provided with it, or it can charge so you can use it without power. So on the back, the power button's right there. All you have to do is just click that in, and it's going to go on the first setting. So right now, the first setting is really not that much. And in order for me to feel the air, I have to have it about within a foot of me. Now, the second setting on this, I am feeling from about right, let's see. Well, I can feel that right now. Really strong. And then there's one more setting on this. So from here, 
I can't reach my arm out far enough to where I can no longer feel it. And so it's it, it's very, it's got a lot of airflow. I should have a piece of paper around. I do. See, I'll show you guys. So this is pretty thick paper. I mean, it's not normal like printer paper. And you guys can see there that it's it's blowing it as much as it can up and straight. You guys look at that. Tons of power on this. So this is really good for... First of all, they advertise it as strollers, which I'm sure my wife or my baby is going to love this on hot summer days, even though she's going to be here in the winter. Uh, this was also this would also be really good for um, putting on your baby's um, crib, like positioning it to where it's cooling them off throughout the night. I don't know. Can you can you put fans on babies? Are you supposed to do that? I have no idea. But this is good for so many reasons. So this is good for a desk having it set up on your desk, maybe on your monitor, having it on a boom arm or just having it on your desk. That's what I've been doing. You guys can't even hear it because even though it does do a lot of airflow, it's also very quiet. So if you guys need a new portable mini fan with a ton of air movement, um, that's just very easy to use. Definitely check this one out from Gusku. And uh, yeah, it's really awesome. Now let me get this set back up. But also, somebody earlier in chat said that I looked like shiny which I am because I put lotion on and it's a little bit, it's a, it's always hot in my room because I have so many electronics running and that light behind me. It, even though it's not like hot, it does emit heat. But also the Sony ZV-1 has a facial, um, it has this facial feature on it that what it will basically do is kind of in a way smooth out your face. So I have face smoothing on, which kind of adds to the effect of like a shiny face in a way. They make most stroller fans not strong enough to hurt baby fingers. Oh, yeah, I don't even think a baby could get their finger in here. Maybe. But right here, I don't think a baby. And you just kind of set it up away from it. Yeah, definitely check that out. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. And we're going to take a look at this EveryBot 3 Spin uh, robotic mop. This thing is incredible chat. And right now it is $75 and weirdly enough, 80 cents off. So $75 and 80 cents off down to 303. If you guys need a new way to, um, if you guys need a new way to get your floors, just keeping it mopped, uh, or keeping it clean after you've mopped the every bot three spin fills in a nice void for just in between your manual cleaning sessions. So I'll go ahead and get that video loaded up for you. And there goes my eye twitching again. So let me know in chat, what all have you guys, if you guys don't mind me asking, what all have you guys purchased on Prime Day? I know you guys are here for giveaways and you guys might be holding out for giveaways, which is completely understandable. And that's, we love that you're here. But if you guys have purchased stuff, what have you guys, have you guys picked up any good deals? Let, let us know in chat. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to do a little bit of a how-to and a test on the EveryBot 3 Spin Robotic Mop. I have been hearing a lot about this mop, so I'm super excited to test it out and show you guys how this thing works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose your mop head. So your first mop head that you're going to get... I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I'm going to show you guys something. This isn't a Prime Day deal, but I did, I did get this for my, my child. Check that out. Or my baby, whichever she's here. It says, awesome Bills girl. And then I even got her this too. Straight out of Bills Nation. And I got her this. Or oh, I haven't placed the order yet. I need to. And then this one right here. On Sundays, we watch football with Daddy. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. She's going to be here right in the midst of football season chat. Oh, man. And I can't wait. I can't wait to meet that little thing. It is this general microfiber that you can see here and then the next mop head you're going to get is a lot thicker and they claim that this one is better for cracks and crevices so we're going to go ahead and go with the second option that we have here and all you have to do to install these is simply just push them down align the holes and they will velcro there and you so doug i completely understand um the cool thing about amazon in my opinion i've been talking for a while and i think i just accidentally turned Justin, you haven't been speaking, have you? No, no, I've been on mute. Okay, because my headset was turned down. Um, the cool thing about Amazon, Doug, I totally get it, that while their prices aren't always the best, it's the accessibility 
feature. That's I think that's why Amazon does so good is how easily how easily you're able to purchase anything. You could you could go on Amazon and this is a joke from a uh, this is a joke from a stand up comedian, but you could go on here and you could be like, I want uh, an eagle's beak. I want a hammer. And then you can just check out. And then in two days, it's on your doorstep. You should be good to go after you get those all laid there. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is you can see right here on top, you can just push in this silver button and then this whole. And Amazon was super nice. They sent me an email saying that uh, they're going to send me a free $35 baby registry welcome box. So they're refunding the difference. For that, for that um, Elegoo 3D printer that I bought at full I told, retail, I told you to, they're, they're refunding I, the difference to me. I told you they would. So, chat, listen. Here's here's one thing, and I can't like say it will work. I'm not going to give you guys that info, but if you guys ever buy something on Amazon and you notice within, I'd say even a week, I'd say within a week that it goes on sale, just message Amazon support and be like, "Hey, can I can I please get refunded the difference since it just went on sale?" Your your chances of success at getting the refund for the difference is probably better within the first couple of days. Um, and if you could do it the same day, that'd be awesome. Uh, I mean, complaining or a closed mouth doesn't get fed. And sometimes all it takes is just complaining and they'll, they'll refund the difference. It's awesome, Justin. That's cool. Old little reservoir tank will release. Now, all you want to do is put water in here. They say specifically not to put any solution or cleaner and also be sure not to put too hot of water inside of this reservoir tank because it could potentially deform and then this thing will not fit back in the main unit. So definitely just be safe with everything that you put in there. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Hey, I like that. That's a good one. There, just water should be good. To get this thing powered on, all you have to do is press the power button for a couple seconds and you will see that on the screen or on the panel, you can see that you have a battery level indicator and a water indicator on how much water this is actually going to push out whenever it's doing its cleaning cycles. And you do have the option to control this with a remote. As you guys can see here, there is a ton of features and a ton of... Yeah, I have a question about Amazon Prime and this is funny because I... <laughs> I basically work for Amazon. Um, are the best deals on Prime, are the best deals on Prime Day on the first day, or do they still have awesome deals just that they have? Mo most of the Prime Day deals are both days, both. day one and day two. Although they have some specific brands that do only deals on day one and day two. Okay. Most Prime Day deals are both days. Okay. Options on it's funny because Prime Day not. used to be just one day, and I think they extended it to two. Did we used even to have a Prime Day days. last year? When did we not have it? Twenty twenty. We did. We did. We did have a Prime Day last year. It was in June, but usually Prime Day is in the fall, like October. Uh, is when I, was when they usually Prime so Day. We, did we have one at all in twenty twenty? I wasn't streaming yet, and uh, so, so so they did, but we weren't influencers for Amazon then. Well, when did when was the first? When was the first time when? People were able to go live on Amazon. When did that start? 2019. 2000. Oh, wow. That far back. I believe so. Yes. Oh, my goodness. OK. Uh, there's a focus mode edge. You can drain water, water control. So a bunch of different things that you can do there. Simply pressing this will engage it to do an automatic cleaning. And what this is going to do, as you can see here, it automatically starts. You know, I've. you know, it's funny that you say that louder. And here this is this is why streams go longer. But. It's funny that you say that water. I, I wonder because we're obviously the last 30 years, stuff like Amazon or just online shopping has really taken off. I wonder if Amazon is around in 150 years. You know what I mean? It's such a megalodon of a company that I just it, it's interesting to think about stuff like that. Even 50 years from now, like I'll hopefully I'm still around in 50 years. I'll be almost 80. But I wonder if like Amazon will be a thing in even 50 years. You never really know. Starts and I really enjoy the way this thing gets around the surface that it's cleaning on just by moving each one of those wheels independently to create the friction and traction it needs to propel itself. So as for the test, as you guys can see here, we have so Sears is 129 storage. years old, and then Sears obviously was clobbered by Amazon and Walmart, but it retail stores and chains tend to last a long time, provided they can continue to yeah. Well, outperform their peers. Well, Amazon is also the reason why like uh, brick and mortar stores have gone out or just online. So if you guys remember like Tiger Direct, Tiger Direct was huge forever. It was huge forever. Even Newegg used to be way bigger than they are now. They're still a big online shopping site, but like that 
you Amazon has monopolized so much that it's like, how do they get who beats Amazon? It's the largest company that's ever existed ever. Who beats them? So what we're going to do is basically just kind of smear this around on my desk. And I hope my wife never sees this video because if she did, um, I might not be making videos for you guys. But what we're going to do now that we've kind of smeared that around on the desk is we're going to let it dry for a little bit just so it's a little bit stickier to really test out the three spin. For Rip everybody. Comp USA. <laughs> so as you guys F in chat because Jennifer has not been entered. F in chat, everybody. Because she hasn't been entering can see here I just turned on the machine and it's kind of figuring out where it is at on the table and remapping itself but eventually what it's going to do that you'll notice here I'd be a branched out seconds. though they still do a lot of stuff though they're not in there as much their original area yeah. but they still they're still yeah. branched out IBM is well they've they've always kind of been IBM is like a behind the scenes integration software company now um, but yeah IBM is they're behind the scenes of a lot of moving parts in the u.s or in the world really because it's going to find its way over yeah, and they're to just the as heavy into software can see as when it gets over the mess hardware, how well it actually so, yeah. picks everything up with just using water and that's absolutely crazy to me that it picked one company that i can say that and i'm not even a big fan because i know a lot of people dislike what they're doing and a lot of people like one company that i do see for sure still being around in a hundred years from now is tesla i i think tesla will be around for a long time it up with only water and no solution now i am in manual mode because it missed a little bit right here um, and i am just driving over it manually just to try to get up the last bits and pieces of that little concoction that i made and put on my desk and what i want to do now is basically just wipe this down with some surface cleaner obviously i'm going to be a little bit more strong than the machine and i want to apply a little bit of pressure to it more pressure than the every bot can just to see what was left behind and how good of a job the three spin did so taking a look at the paper towel i'm actually pleasantly surprised i didn't get up a lot more from the table than this i mean that is obviously a little bit left over but being that this had no solution it's awesome and you can see right here on the pad that it did a really good job of picking all of that stuff up so all you have to do after those pads are dirty is just throw them in the washer they are washer safe so it's really cool that you're able to do that all right, guys, this was just a quick overview of the every bot three spin. This thing works super well. I highly recommend it, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, so definitely check out that every bot three spin robotic mop vacuum. It is a I'm not going to I'm not going to say it. It is a unit. See, PC Phil thought I was going to say beast, but I didn't. So definitely check that out. We're going to move over into the next product, which is going to be the eMe conference camera. Really cool conference camera. And after this, we will be doing another gift card giveaway. We're gonna we're on this stream. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. We're getting the hundred. We're getting one of those hundred dollar gift cards away to you guys. It's gonna happen on my stream. I'm calling it. I'm putting it into the ether. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this awesome meeting capsule from a company called Emi. Now, this thing is super awesome and has a ton of awesome features built into it. It has a Red Dot Design Award nomination, and it won in 2021. It has a bunch of different modes built into it. But let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that this comes with, and then we will test this out inside of its software. So, unboxing this, the first thing you're gonna notice right here is we got an empty box right there. Pretty nice, stable packaging, and then opening this box you're going to get a few of your accessories on the inside right here so the first thing you're gonna hey chat so what i'm gonna do just throughout this obviously we're showing you guys a lot of deals but um i'm just kind of scouring uh i'm scouring amazon while these videos are playing and every once in a while i'll drop a link in the chat if i find something that you guys might be interested in oh my gosh my so right now i just dropped a link in the chat for a full hd 1080p monitor uh for 100 105 bucks going to notice is you're going to get a user manual i highly recommend using that because it has a ton of awesome and helpful information and then you're going to get your extra long braided usb-c cable to plug this in and interface with your computer and then you are going to get your ac adapter and remote now i'm not going over the remote just because it's not going to really show everything that I show inside of the program. And then you're of course going to get the unit itself. It has this aluminum housing with this speaker that surrounds the entire what did CC say? This e meet video conference camera is how the maniacal Dark Lord Sauron Sauron keeps in touch with his hordes in the 21st century. Oh my gosh, what a 
What a description. Higher body of the machine. It looks super cool. Taking a look on the backside right here, you can see that you have all of the controls. So you have mode selectors, lockout, you can mute your microphone. This is where you're able to plug it into your computer, plug it into external speakers and plug in power. And on the bottom, you're going to have this anti-movement rubber padding and you're going to get your quarter inch tripod adapter so you can hook this up to your tripod. Let's check it out the program. All right guys, so now we are here inside of the program as you guys can see with the E. If you guys if you guys are a fan of VR, did you know that um did you guys know that HTC still is making the Vive? They have the HTC Vive Cosmos now. I didn't know about that. Me hooked up to my computer. So we're going to go ahead and show you some of the features that are inside of this webcam. MetaQuest 3 is rumored to come out. So what you're going to notice right up here, you're going to have a bunch of different options. So you can release screen to make this a completely detached screen from the main program. You're going to have different modes and options where you can turn off the camera. So as you guys can see here, when you turn off the camera, this is what it will appear to other people that are on the other end of your conference call. You can also mute the mic. We are not using the mic in this video. You have anti-flicker options here. You have zoom options. Right now we are in classic mode. So as you guys can see here, excuse my dirty room, but we have a pretty wide view. Um, we can switch to other modes right here. So we can go spotlight mode, which should will zoom in on one person that is speaking. Now continuing on, this is in private mode. Now all of these modes are controllable through the remote, so you don't have to use the software to do this. But as you can see here, the in private mode is basically just turning off the camera and the microphone for complete discretion with your conversations. Now we move to collaboration mode. So what this is going to do is basically allow the camera to focus in on multiple people at the same time. Now I am only one person speaking, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn this. And so when I start speaking here, what you're going to notice is it's going to pull me into a frame. Now, if there was another person talking, it would automatically pull that in. And it's trying to actually pull in multiple people here because it's seeing my screen. So we'll go ahead and rotate this. And we will switch to the speech mode. So now what speech mode is going to do is it's going to center whoever is speaking, but one person at a time. So as you guys can see here, it focused me directly. But what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this around. And if I start speaking, microphone check, microphone check, mic check, one, two, one, two. It's going to focus. on. All right, Doug, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope to see you soon. Um, and uh, don't forget today at what time, Justin, is Nikita streaming? 6 p.m. Pacific. 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. He'll be live streaming as well. It's on just me. And then once I stop speaking, say there's another person in the room. I will simulate that by just basically turning this, as you guys can see here, it focused on the person talking again. We're gonna go ahead and switch back real quick to the classic mode. So we are now in the classic mode. And as I said before, there are a ton of options for each individual mode. You have white balance, brightness, contrast, image flip, angle, initial position. There's a ton of different things inside of this app. You can update the firmware. Um, there's so much that you can do with this software and this camera. So if you guys have been looking for a new camera for your conferences or your. All right, chat. So if you guys have been looking for a new camera, definitely check that one out from Emi. It is now time for an Amazon gift card giveaway. So uh, let's get some. Uh, if you guys want to win, you have to type this in chat. If you guys want to win, this is the requirement to make sure you guys are here and listening. Here we go. I love bagels and motor oil. Go. Type it in chat and we will draw. Type it in chat. I love bagels and motor oil. Has to happen. Look bagels at and motor oil. Interesting. Look, look at the look at the control look at the control I have over the masses. Wow, my chat's been frozen for a while. I didn't see any of these messages. Yep. The tater tots are so look, good. Look at the control over the masses. <laughs> yes, my minions. For those who don't know, the, the entry URL is dragonblogger.com slash enter live. Make sure you're there and you entered. I'm going to draw the winner right now. Ten seconds. I feel like Warren Jeffs right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like Warren Jeffs. If any of you guys don't know who that is, look it up. <laughs> Uh, some someone in here knows who Warren Jeffs is. Cle Cletus, of course, I know who Warren Jeffs is. 
Tater tots with m- motor oil. Don't just give, <laughs> just don't give us Kool Aid, Nate. Yeah, don't ship any Kool Aid. All right. So here we go. The winner is. LaRonda P. LaRonda Parks. LaRonda P. Are you here in chat? Are you here in chat? You have won a gift card, so we need to make sure you're here first, and then we'll tell you how much you've won. So LaRonda P. Chrissy, what does GZ mean? Because like I know GG, but what is G's? Is that I, think what you're it's for, I think it stands for congrats. Grats. Oh, grats. Okay, like G. Congrats. Yeah. It's a, okay. it's a very, very acronymed congrats. Yeah. Any of you guys ever did you any of you guys ever watch Robert Pattinson's Batman? Amazing. Amazing. And if you guys like physical media, which I do, uh, right here is a great deal on the 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray plus digital. Uh so $15 down from 50 bucks if you guys want that physical copy of the Batman. They can never take away physical they can never take away a physical copy. That's a good thing. So so LaRonda Parks is known as Travel Diva 2 in chat. So see if Travel Diva 2 has... Travel land. Diva 2. Travel. Oh, she's here. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. So the, the amount that you have won is... It's me. I'm here. LaRonda P. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> making making sure. I'm right here. $5. $5. All right. So congratulations on that $5 gift card. I wish it could have been the 100 for you. But listen, chat. That just means we're getting... We're, 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 we're scraping off the cheaper, the cheaper ones. We're getting closer and closer. Um, so if you guys aren't following, first of all, I'm going to actually draw, I'm going to draw more than one at the end of your stream. I'm going to draw multiple at the end. Okay. So here we go. Next product in today's stream. This is so fun. And what a great deal right now, chat. This is almost a hundred bucks off. So right now this is $85 off. This is the Phi golf world golf tour edition, mobile and home golf simulator. So if you guys are golf fans, even if you're not, which I'm not at all, I have such a blast with this. I pick it up all the time in my living room if I'm bored. Uh, so definitely check out this Phi Golf World Golf Tour Edition video because this thing is so dang fun. And I'll continue dropping links to really great deals that I find in chat for you guys. If you guys if you guys have any requests uh, for deals, if you guys are looking for something specifically on Prime Day, let me know in chat right now because what I'm going to do is I'll find it for you. So if you're looking for something, a good deal, you just can't find one, I'll search for you. SSDs, okay. So M.2 SSDs or 2.5 SSDs? Let me know. So M.2 SSDs or 2.5s? I need to know. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking so yes, you were not taking a look at this Phi Golf Home Golf Simulator. Now, I am not the best at golfing in real life. If anything, I am definitely the worst out of any given friend group. But let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at everything that this thing has to offer. So unboxing this thing was pretty simple. All you have to do is just pull off that sleeve. The first thing you're going to notice is this little instruction manual. And then you're going to get the sensor. This is going to read the swing pattern and all of the other data in order to actually give you accurate results. And then you guys are going to get this kind of little quick start guide that's going to tell you do's and don'ts of this simulator. And then the next thing you're going to notice inside of the box that you get is you're going to get this little wristband. And this is just to make sure you don't launch this thing at your TV whenever it goes off. Continuing on, you're going to have a USB-C cable. And then you are obviously going to get the main unit itself. This thing actually feels really heavy. I would say nearly as heavy as a real driver. It's got a real golf club texture on that handle there, and everything on this just feels really solid and really well made. So to get started, all you want to do is basically search up either Phi Golf or World Golf Tour Golf on your app store. This is. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know you could do this? Look at this. I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Look. So look at this. Did you guys know that if like you're selecting text and you want to select like a certain portion, you don't want to use your mouse. If you hold Shift and then use your arrow keys, you can select exactly what it is that you need. I had no idea you could do that. That's awesome. I'm just pro tips with Nate. I just found that out. No, I didn't just find that. I've known that because I, I work on computers and stuff. Yeah, I've definitely known that for sure. 
is on Android or iOS. And then the next thing you want to do after you install either one of those apps is basically just twist the sensor down into the top of the handle like you guys can see I'm doing here. Just be sure not to twist too hard. You don't really need to do it, but it'll go ahead and stay there. And one of the coolest things about this is if you guys have an Android TV or Apple TV, the Fi Golf app is actually right on there, which is really awesome. So we'll go ahead and launch the Fi Golf app just because this is the official app. And you guys will notice whenever you first open the app for the first time, it will take a little bit to load. But after that, you should be good to go. There's really nothing to setting this up, my friends. So now that you have the app installed and you have the setup, all you want to do is just hold down on top of the sensor right here until it starts flashing like you can see. You have a one terabyte drive, one third of the way filled with RPG PDFs. What do you mean? Like role playing game PDFs? And then the Fi Golf app will automatically recognize that it is connected and it will pair it and you are good to go. And so just kind of showing you guys some of the things you can do on this. So there's a bunch of different modes on here right now. Oh, so you mean like guides and walkthroughs and stuff like that? That's a lot of, that's a lot of, <laughs> Justin, he has 300, roughly 330 gigs of just game walkthrough PDFs. Two on a second, I'm getting a call. I am just in the practice range and this kind of tells you everything you need to know about your swing so you guys can see right here on the screen there's a bunch of different data such as club path face angle attack angle and all of this is just really cool because it's going to help you become a better golfer in real life too and now we're on the long driving range where you can kind of see how far you can hit it and i always Never slice it to the call. right but i do that in real life too so it's not a problem with the game what i miss what we you say? guys can see right so he has we're talking about drives so he has a one terabyte drive, a third of the way full of just roll like RPG game PDF, like guides and walkthroughs. So like 330 gigs of PDFs. Wow. There, I'm complaining to my wife about uh, not being able to hit it straight. We'll go ahead and try. I have right a here. So lot of PDF stuff from RPG related stuff, but I don't think I have that much. So I hit I it a little a bit less hard, but I went a little bit more straight right there, and it's really cool. This thing is super responsive. Uh, I would say there's yeah. maybe like a one-second delay into All right, chat, so if you guys are sports fans, I'm dropping a link in the chat to a Amazon page where you can select your favorite NFL team, and everything on here is on Prime Day sale. So go to that website if you guys are sport or go, not website. Go to that link. Everything on there when you select is on a Prime Day deal. Every single team, you, you can select exactly who you want. So if you guys need some new apparel or some new uh, wall art or something, definitely check that out, which I'm scouring that right now too. To registering your swing, but after that, it's really cool. And now we're on a full course. This Fi Golf app does have a ton of real life courses. I'm scanning my NAS drive right now right to see how many, to how many RPG related PDFs I have. I know it's going to be nowhere loud, near that. And then you are good nowhere to swing. That, but I'm just so curious. Right here, let's see how good I can get close to this T. And you guys know him because sure. have you ever heard of DMS Guild? I just didn't want to intimidate you guys. I have not heard of DMS Guild. Okay. What is that? So DMS Guild is a place where you can buy RPG related co like content where people create their own like Dungeon Master's guides, monster manuals, adventures for all such RPGs. And I have bought a ton of content from DMS Guild. So I like a lot. So something's up with the aspect ratio of the frame when you made it bigger. It's like not sixteen nine for some reason. I, I, it's like, <sighs> it, you you don't have to worry. You literally don't have to worry. Yeah, you, about it. it doesn't yeah, matter. You, I'm sure you could do cropping, like just like set it to where it's like that, and then just crop a little bit off the edge. You know, with um. Yeah, but it, it legit doesn't matter. I was just yeah complaining to complain. There we go. We'll try that. Oh well. Yeah. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead. And you could you could also crop like fifty pixels off the left and the <laughs> right too. Ow. Or, I broke a rib chat. Guys, so now we're going to go ahead and putt. Putting is actually kind of hard on this, but you guys can see right here that I hit it way, way, Keyboard way Keyboard compatible too hard. with Xbox. And, you know, I guess I just don't really know my own strength. Can a com key mander. The key mander um, by IO gear, which is I think we worked with them a long time ago. No, actually. So a long time ago, whenever I wasn't doing or I was doing Dragon Blogger, but I asked Justin to help me. This was like 2017. I asked him to help me start up my own thing. 
Um, he gave me like a template to reach out to companies because I was going to try to start this thing called Nate Tech. And then I realized how much work and I was like, all right, I'm too lazy. Uh, but I partnered with a company called IO Gear a long time ago. Uh, Wireless or USB? Let me see. IO Gear Keymander. So here you go. This 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 will fix it. This will help you. This makes it to where any keyboard works with uh any keyboard works with uh the keymander. Caliber gaming. Wow, I forgot about that. That was like the first company that ever partnered with me when I had like three YouTube subscribers. <laughs> but if you guys need a new golf golf simulator, definitely check out that. Uh, Fi Golf WGT, which is World Golf Tour Edition. It's super fun. It's super accurate. It gives you all this data on what you're doing and what you're doing wrong. Has tons of real life courses. It's just, it's a great, great course. Great course there, K63 will work with Xbox 89.99 on Prime Day deal. Switching over to the next product, we're going to take a look at this Insignia 42 inch uh, Class F20 series, full HD. Uh, Amazon, or yeah, this is a this is a Fire TV built in, yeah. Two hundred, uh, not two hundred dollars. A hundred dollars off down from two sixty nine. Hundred dollars off, chat. Let me go ahead and load up the video for this. I think James here did this, or Demetrius, one of the two. Th those are the only two people that I know that have done for sure TV reviews. It's gonna be a Demetrius video. Here we go, chat. Hey guys, my name is Demetrius, and I'm gonna be showing you guys this Insignia Fire TV that came in a 42 inch LED display. It has a HDMI ports, as I'll show you later in the video, and it's that F20 series. And it also has that press and ask kind of almost Alexa like hours already. feature on there. Man. Really, really rough. awesome TV so far. It came in a really solid box. Um, as you can see, it has the remote at the top and extra padding at the top as i'm gonna show you how oops okay of course that happened i hit control z i didn't think it would get rid of that hold on chat it's my fault i thought it would just move the webcam back to where or the camera where it was so streamer cam uh, amazon videos here we go oops hey goes in a and it was just simply just popped right off so with that being said, like I said, it has a lot of updating and a lot of software updating that it does. It takes about five minutes to update everything and uh, really, really. So we we didn't forget to give away another gift card. We we just aren't at that point yet where this video and one more video and then we'll do another one. We love it so far. And then boom, there you have it. The Equalizer 2 is displayed on the screen and really, really perfect picture. You have all these apps right here already on the TV. You have Netflix, Prime Video. You also have the news and more. And like you said, you can just click that apps and channels. And then it has all your apps that you have on your TV right now and the channels you have. Uh, and you can click that app store to access more. And there you have even more. You have Apple TV, you have NFL, you have Sling, Amazon Live, and you have YouTube TV. All of these Dude, apps. Dude, I need to turn really, my portable really AC cool. on this whole time. Uh, I'll be right back. Future right here. You don't need any game system to download. This 42 inch TV has a lot of apps, as you can see Netflix, Prime Video, IMDb TV, YouTube, News, Amazon Music. No wonder why I'm boiling over here. Um, you know, it's like literally boiling. I was like, man, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> and it's uh, 21 inches tall right here. And then you got so I did purchase a Prime Day product for myself. Long. I got, and you got the brand new Apple Watch this Series 7 right there myself. To the Prime Day. Yeah, I'm pasting a link right now in chat to a to a Lindsay home dresser. So this is an eight drawer dresser that is normally $499, $499 off. This is a lightning deal. So it's going to, it's going to be gone soon. Right now. It's funny that that telescope you just posted, the monocular telescope's already, already out. Oh, it's already out. Yep. 
So this is ninety-eight dollars, oh. four hundred dollars off. Right there in the corner. Then also, like I said, it has. Um, yeah, that's a nice. Deal. Nope, hundred percent claimed. And then oh, join wait list. Can't get it. It was just at eighty percent claimed. Well, yep, or, uh, already wow. claimed. The cable. Not fast enough, the, Nate. Not fast enough. <laughs> Other cores back there, the Ethernet cable. Uh, so it's crazy that, how that fast these that. these limited item deals are going. It's nuts. It has a lot of features for the best entertainment. I know that's why when I was doing these carousel streams, like some of the products are sold out by the before the my uh, streamer host can even get to them. They're already sold out. Not to replace them in the, the carousel. Oh, look! Look at that. Both Black and Deckers in your carousel are sold out. So I got to take them both off and replace them right now. So hold on, let me go remove them. They both got sold out. All right, so if you guys uh -huh. need a new 42-inch smart TV, that's $100 off right now. We're going to switch over to the next smart TV, and this is the Toshiba 50-inch Class C350. Uh, this is a 4K TV right now, over $100 off. Over $100 off on this next TV that we're going to showcase to you guys. Wow. So if you guys need a new TV, big picture, 4K, smart home, or not smart home, but apps and all that. Right now is a great deal. Sachi, thank you for following. A cat tower. I'll find one for you. I'll find one for you, Cindy. Tater Nate is on it. Tater Nate's got your back. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff also here putting, today. Uh, I'm, I'm having to swap out two products in your castle. Hold on. My Toshiba C350 yeah, 50 inch television. I'll put them at the end so it doesn't slow you down. I'll just remove And it is sheet. just the coolest thing I've ever had. First Stuff off, selling off this faster is a than Fire we can get TV. To it. And what that means is this is going to come pre downloaded with plenty of streaming apps on it. In addition to that, if you navigate to the settings bar and go to apps, you have access to an entire app store as well. Within the App Store, you have plenty of games you can download and just about any app you can find, you can download it here. And I think that's just awesome. In addition to that, you do have access to create multiple profiles right for your TV. Right now, I All right, so who was asking about the Cat TV? I just found a crazy one, Cindy Merrill. So right here, if you click this, this one is 34% off. It's You're saving 40 bucks on this Cat Tower. So down from 120 to 80 bucks and it is a huge huge cat tower i mean this is a monster i'll also post a link to a cheaper one too i have it set to my own but you can also add profiles for your kids for family members for guests whatever you want you can even turn on parental settings uh, for those profiles as well included with this are four hdmi ports right now i've only got two of them plugged in but I do have a third that I will be plugging in later. And with my previous TV, that was always one of my biggest annoyances. I'd always have to swap out that third HDMI plug because it only had two HDMI ports. So every time I needed to switch between the two, I'd have to go up, unplug one, plug the other one back in. This one has four, so I've got one to spare. You can also do an antenna, a composite cable, and you can put a media player right on there. It's super cool. You also have, again, access to, to the App Store here as well. You can find free shows and movies. You can look up regular movies elsewhere, TV shows, sports. You can even search for them by category down here. That's pretty darn cool. And finally, you also have access to live television. So if you want to get a live TV or get to live TV... Okay, you can back here. out of your uh, Use Amazon Home and go back in. You'll, you'll, you'll see you your carousel update. Yeah. Watch live TV that way. Some other really cool things about this TV is it is an ultra 4K Gotta be adaptable. TV. Flexible. <laughs> I love the picture quality. This Agility uses Toshiba's Regza Engine 4K. That's their 4K um, software. It just delivers such crisp, cool picture quality. I love it. Another really cool thing is this has DTS Virtual X on it as well. And what that one means, I've got a soundbar and a bass connected to this TV. With those connected, along with the speakers that come with the TV, you can create an entire 3D uh, audio experience without having to get a whole mess of extra speakers set up all the way around your room. So just that alone will be super cool for watching movies and playing games with. And then finally, it also does have a, a Bluetooth receiver in there as well. My base bar is, a, or is connected by Bluetooth, so that, that just makes everything super easy. 
It also comes with it what's called auto low latency mode. If you're a gamer like myself, that's going to help reduce your lag and your visual screen tearing and just make your gaming experience that much smoother. So I really like that. All in all, there is so much to love about this television. It even comes with Alexa. All right, so if you guys need a new uh, awesome big TV, that's a 55 inch TV right now for 419 bucks chat. That is a great deal. 4K, it's got all the apps. It's down 25% from 560 bucks all the way down to 420. Um, so definitely check that out. We're gonna switch over to the next product in today's stream. But before we do that, we're gonna do another gift card giveaway. So Justin, drum roll, or go ahead and roll for the next winner. All right, everybody's entered. I'm rolling now. And the next gift card winner is Shane Hawkins. Shane, Shane Hawkins, are you here? Shane Hawkins, if you are here, you have won a gift card. So let's see if you are here. You have you have about one minute to claim. The real streams at Amazon.com slash live slash Drunger Bar are posted in chat on Discord. It's HTTPS. Keith Rousseau, thank you. Keith Rousseau, I will share the link with you right now, Anna. Or Ann. So yes, 50 inch TVs we have, and we actually gave one away last night. Uh, did anybody see Shane claim? I haven't, honestly. Anybody see a Shane, a Shane Hawkins claim or Shane? 10, 15 seconds left. I'm not seeing any Shane in chat. Anybody see a Shane? All right. Looks like he is not here. Shane, looks like you're going to miss out. Five, four, three, two, one. And go ahead and redraw. Redraw. Right, F in the chat for Shane. F in chat. F in chat. Wow, you got my last name right, Rousseau. So the reason, Keith, the reason I knew how to say that is because I'm a Buffalo Bills fan, and we have a player named Greg Rousseau. That's the only reason I was able to say that right. Okay, buy things sometimes. It's the next winner. Buy things sometimes. You are the winner. He's here. Should I revoke? Uh, for I re should I revoke the win for his uh, disgust at the Bills? <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Congrats by things sometimes. All right. So the amount since he is here is going to be ten dollars. Ten dollars. Congratulations. Buy things on the ten dollar gift card. Uh, we're gonna switch over and take a look at this Western Digital Black two terabyte SN eight fifty. God, this, we're, getting, we're getting so because there's so few cards left in the pool. Okay, so let me see how much in the pool. Huh? So right now, this two terabyte Western Digital Black is works with PlayStation Five. Right now, this is comes with a heat sink. It's normally five forty nine. It's fifty one percent off right now. Fifty one percent off on that is crazy. It's a great deal. So let me go ahead and just load this up real quick. Uh, Bills will definitely win the AFC East again. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started on the Bills. We're going to win the AFC East, and I don't I don't want to jinx it, but listen, I, I have to talk about this because you, you mentioned Bills, and I can't not talk about it. I'll, I'll drive myself crazy. Kansas City was not the better team in the divisional, play, in the dig, divisional round last year. They were not. We made we just made a terrible call on that on that uh, fourth quarter drive. We made a terrible call. We played prevent when they were on their own twenty five. We shouldn't have played prevent, but we're the team. We are the team. Josh Allen is the man. If we ever have a team to win the Super Bowl, it's right now. We're just as good as any team in the league. I'm super excited, super super excited. Let me go ahead and get up this video for you guys before I get go down a rabbit hole. That's that's the wrong thing. If you guys ever want me to go on a rabbit hole, talk about football.
Talk about football, and we'll, I, I'll go and go and go. We are testing the playing prevent D will always prevent you from winning. It just it it just doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. It was a terrible call. We'll learn from it. We still have the best defense in the league. Yes, we do. Western Digital Black or WD Black SN850 NVMe M2 SSD with the X570 Phantom Gaming X motherboard. Now, this SSD has a rated speed of 7,000 megabytes per second, but as you can see here, we're really close, and we're capped out by the M2 speed limitations of the motherboard at 6 gigabits per second, which is around 6,000 megabytes per second. So you can see we're right up against the cap of the pipe of the motherboard itself for the NVMe PCIe. Uh, this, the drive is incredibly fast. Windows boot times are amazing. Game installed load times are amazing. It's just an incredible SSD. Highly recommended to get uh, a WD Black M2 SSD as your primary boot drive or your game installed drive for your PC. All right, so if you guys need a new SSD right now, uh, that is a great deal on a, on a heat sinked two terabyte top of the line SSD from Western Digital, $284. It's down from 550 chat, 51% off, really great deal on that. We're gonna roll it right into the next product and we're gonna take a look at this EF EcoFlow Portable River Mini Power Station. Whoa, oh wow, that's a, that's a great deal. Right now, this is down 170 bucks, 49% off. So if you guys, you guys have definitely seen me showcase EcoFlow a lot. You guys have for sure seen me uh, showcase them. So right now is the time to get yourself one. And we will be doing a gift card right after this too. Right after this. I will drop a link in the chat. If you guys haven't already gotten entered, uh, I'll drop a link. And if you guys want to talk about football, say something about football. <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today I am excited to showcase to you the River Mini Portable Power Station by EcoFlow. I did a review on the Big Brother River, not the Mini, and it was awesome. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out the Mini version. The EcoFlow River Mini is absolutely jam-packed with a ton of awesome features. This machine is an absolute little powerhouse, so let's go ahead and jump straight in and see everything that this machine has to offer. So as you can see here on the front, it's pretty simplistic. A screen, some plugins. Taking a closer look at the front, you're going to notice here that you have three USB-As as well as the power switch to enable those USB ports. Also on the front on the right side, you're going to have your 12 volt AC adapter for charging or to charge the unit itself. Taking a look at the far side of the machine, you're going to notice here that you have two AC inputs. Now you might notice that you don't have a place for the third prong, but that's because this machine is grounded and you don't have to ground out the source that you're plugging in. Over here, you have your main charging port for your AC wall outlet, and then as well, you're going to have your solar charging outlet port right here, which can be used with a variety of different solar panels. To turn on the machine, you'll be presented with this gold button, and then once you turn that on, you're going to see here that your screen will light up and start showing you information. On the left side over here, it's going to have how many hours of charging you have based on the current amount of battery life. And so we can get a gauge of how much battery life this has. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to plug in my iPhone 11 Pro Max to the system to see how much it reflects with the current amount of hours and battery life available. So as you can see here, after I turn this machine on, you're going to see that I have roughly about five to four hours of charging at 28% battery life. Also on the right side over here, you can actually see the current watts that is being drawn by the device that is powered through the EcoFlow River Mini. I know that's a lot to say, but just bear with me. I'm just trying to get all of my eggs in a row and kind of get you guys straightened out with how this machine works and how much charging you can get from it. But now onto the most exciting part. This does have AC outlets, so let's go ahead and plug in my Ninja printer over here on the right. And we're gonna go ahead and test this out to see how long we can run a blender for, which is absolutely crazy that I'm saying this. I'm plugging a blender. That's hilarious. I said Ninja printer. It's definitely not a printer. Blender, not into a wall, into this tiny little power station. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to turn it on and see how much it reflects on the EcoFlow River Mini.
And so as you could see there, while I was running it, it brought me down to roughly about 11 minutes. And you can see that it's drawing almost 290 watts of power. So this machine, this tiny little power adapter, can basically power your blender, your TV, a small fridge. It can power so much, which is absolutely insane to me. So it's definitely no secret that the EcoFlow River Mini is an absolute powerhouse of a portable little machine. This machine would be great for something like camping, if you have an emergency outage, if you're on a long road trip. There's tons of uses for this machine, and I think if you guys have been looking into getting something like this, this is definitely a great starter choice. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. All right, chat. So the EcoFlow River Mini is a great little powerhouse right now that is over $150 off. So you guys definitely need to pick that up today. That is the best deal I've ever seen on the on an EcoFlow product ever. But it is time for a gift card giveaway. So Justin, go ahead and uh, draw for another gift card. First of all, did anybody um, need help? It's dragonblogger.com slash enter live. I saw somebody ask how do you enter so it's dragonblogger.com slash enter live there's a gleam giveaway widget on the page you sign in you do the entries in that widget that's how you enter dragonblogger.com slash enter live all right we're ready to draw a winner let me just go check the entries first real quick see how many people have entered now 89 up to 89 unique users have entered Which there's not that many who are viewing, so we know that there's a lot of people who probably aren't here to claim. Let's see. And the winner of this gift card is... Who's it going to be? Drew G. Drew G, Drew you have one. G. Drew G, are you in chat? Looking for a Drew G. I was going to see. Drew G, all right, so he is here. Go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and uh, do the amount. Let's see. Come on. Let, right. let, it, let it be the $100. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's $20. $20. 20 that's Drew. still awesome. Still awesome. Drew G, that is a $20 Amazon gift card coming your way. So listen, we're, we, we just keep scraping them off, chat. It's getting closer and closer. We're going to keep rolling in today's stream, and we're going to take a look at this automatone. Really? That's interesting. Katera, I'm going to tell you all the gift cards that are left. Okay, say one. Here are two. all the gift cards that are left. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's only thirteen gift cards left. I only have thirteen left total, right? So I have thirteen more winners of gift cards. I still have more physical prizes, and that out of those thirteen, we have one, two, three, four, five dollars. Four ten dollars, a twenty five, a twenty, a seventy five, and two hundreds. All right, so the the five dollars are dwindling down fast. Yep. Um. So yeah, but anyways, on to this automatone. This is that's that's really that's really cool. I didn't know somebody reviewed an automatone on here. Yeah, it's super popular too. I was really surprised. This is one of my top viewed so videos behold, on all of Amazon. This, this automatone. is the infamous and it was Cat from Yahoo who did this one. Automatone instrument. When is this from? This video. Last year. Last year. Okay, last summer. Find on Amazon. Um, it came with this little practice music sheet, um, and it was shipped in this plastic packaging, um, which was good enough. Um, nothing came damaged at all or anything. Um, but here's its cute little face. Um, when you squeeze, you can kind of see the inner mechanics going on in there. Um, I don't know uh, how it works or, you know, like how it even makes sound, but it does. And through the mouth, <laughs> when you open it is where it comes through. 
Um, and then the back, uh, you have some settings with the volume um, with lower or higher, and then you have three different sound ranges that you can choose from uh, for the sound that comes out. Um, so I have a little preview of my fiance trying it out as a surprise birthday gift so you can hear how it sounds. So if you guys need an automatone, that one right now is over 10 bucks off. Um, pretty cool. I've never, I mean, I ever, most people know what an automatone is. I've never really understood the, the lore or anything behind. There's no lore, but I, I've never understood them. But if you guys do and you want one right now, that one's over $10 off. Um, and Justin, it says we're doing another gift card giveaway right here too. I know. I increased the frequency because I still have too many left in the pool. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do another gift card giveaway. I wasn't going to get through them all if I didn't increase the numbers we were doing. All right. Next winner. I need a border. I need a border for my, my lives. My, oh, no, because then you can't do clippables. Maxine Z is Maxine the next winner. Maxine Z is the winner. Are you here, Maxine? Maxine Z. Yep, you're here. All right. $10, Maxine. Another 10. Ten dollars. Okay. Ten dollars. My audio kind of broke up there. So ten dollars. Congratulations. Um Maxine. We're gonna move in to the next product, which is the JBL Clip 4. The JBL Clip 4 Bluetooth speaker. Right now, this is uh 30 bucks off. This is $30 off. So Really awesome there. Let me go ahead and switch that over in the carousel. JBL Clip 4. Awesome. And I will get this video loaded up for you guys. So this is my little JBL Clip 4 speaker. I just unboxed it and connected it to my phone. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate how it works and everything. It's really super simple. I like to listen to music while I shower and so this is going to be a nice little thing that I can clip onto my shower stand and use it is waterproof um, it, it says that on the casing for it that it is IP67 waterproof and dustproof and has up to 10 hours of playtime um, it's really easy to use as you can see this little light is on and not flashing so that's how you know it's connected it has two buttons right here that you can kind of see this is the power button you just hold it for a little bit to turn it on and then if you want to connect it to a bluetooth you just hold this for about two seconds and then you're good as you can see on the front it has some controls for play increase volume and decrease volume i'm going to play some music here from my phone so you guys can hear how it sounds so just automatically you can see and i'm going to go ahead and raise the volume nice and then lower the volume also and then um i can also just hit this button and stop it so as you can see it's a really nice little speaker it does have a good amount of volume and bass to it and it's just really nice overall to use so if you're looking for a nice little speaker that fits those needs definitely check this one out all right, so if you guys need a new Bluetooth speaker, definitely check out that one from JBL. They've been making audio products forever. Um, so you know it's going to be quality. But rolling into the next product, we're going to take a look at this Fiagit's or the Fiagit uh, liquid silicone iPhone 13 case. This is going to be kind of a quick video or kind of a quick live demonstration just because I don't have an iPhone 13. But so you guys can see right here that these are all of the cases that they sent me. So we'll go ahead and just choose the black one right here first. So this is a silicone uh, iPhone 13 case. You guys can see that it's a, obviously silicone is a very soft touch material, but it's also, it's also very, it's got like a nice grip to it. So this one's for the iPhone 13. You guys can see here that the cutouts for everything is super accurate. Taking a look at this side, you have your cutout for your mute button. You have your audio up and down. 
And then you're also going to have your cutout for your power button on this side. Now, the cool thing about these ones is they're not entirely silicone. So they actually are going to give a little bit more rigidity and strength to your iPhone because while the sides and the tops are, are a little bit bendable just so they can, um, so it can get around your phone. The cool thing about this one is it kind of has this hard shell on the inside to, in order to just give more support. And now the coolest thing to me about this is the camera guard. So you guys can see right there that this does have a camera guard on it, which is obviously as it sounds. I mean, the description is in the title. It covers your camera, which is really awesome. It just slides back and forth super easy because iPhones have amazing cameras and uh, obviously iPhones aren't cheap and you want to protect that camera. You don't want to have to spend to get that repaired. So you're able to just protect it. Now it does come in multiple colors too. I don't know if these are all of the colors, but so here's black right here. Very simple. You kind of have this off pink in a way. It's kind of like this dull pink, purple, lavender color. I can't really explain it. So very nice color there. You have this really nice brown, which is one of my favorites. I like that brown. And then you have this dark forest green, which is which is my favorite color out of them. So if you guys have been looking for a new iPhone 13 case, right now these are 10 bucks off. We're actually 11 bucks off so great iphone cases for your iphone 13. um so if you need a new case for your iphone 13 definitely check out these ones from fiaget i mean really nice really well made soft touch material it's going to do a good job absorbing impact if you ever drop your phone so that is going to be basically it for those we're going to move into the next on hand product we are going to take a look so special on this case nate what's so special on the case nate i don't uh, it's just a very nice case. I mean, I don't think there's anything amazingly special about a case ever, but that one's really cool. So we're going to take a look now at this Humix or Humix um, magnetic car phone mount. So you guys can see right here that this is the entire mount. So the cool thing whenever you order this, it's going to come with multiple 3M sticky adhesives that you use. So this one's worn out and this one doesn't have it on at all. So I peeled it off because I had peeled it off. But the magnet on this thing is so, so strong. Does the case say camera guard on the back? It does. So the magnet on this thing is insanely, insanely strong. So unfortunately, I accidentally peeled off the 3M adhesive on this, but I have a video. I just, it, it's saying show on hand. So I'm just gonna keep showing it on hand. But the magnet on this is incredibly, incredibly strong. So the cool thing about this is I was able to pick up my microphone when it still had the sticky. I was able to just pick it up like right with this thing right here. You can't get this. You can't get this uh, mount to fall off. So it's very easy to set up too. So on your dash, your desk, whatever it is, even your wall, all you'll have to do is put that 3M sticky adhesive that's right here on your base. Like so on your desk or your, like I said, your dash. And then you will put this on the back of your phone or really whatever it is that you're wanting to mount magnetically, you're just going to place it on there and then you're good to go. So once it's on there, you guys have a lot of articulation on this ball joint right here. So you guys can get a different viewing angle. Very simple. There's not a lot to it. It's a very strong magnet. And I mean, very, very strong. If you guys saw yesterday, I was sitting here and I was shaking my phone and I could not get it to fall off at all. I mean, it's just, it's the strongest magnet for a phone mount that I've ever seen in my life. Let me see real quick. Let me try something. You guys can see right there, I kind of have it sandwiched in between. And that's a thick silicone right there. And that's how strong the magnet is. I have it sandwiched right there. Very, very, very strong magnet. So if you guys need a new magnetic phone mount, this is the one. Uh, Humix makes great phone mounts they make a bunch of different ones so definitely check them out and check this out because right now it is eleven dollars off or actually twelve dollars off i don't know math is hard let me see yep twelve dollars off on that we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream we're just kind of running through these just because it's kind of i can't showcase a lot of these to you like properly i can't we're going to look at this galaxy s22 phone case from humix as well so if you guys have a Galaxy S22, this is definitely the case for you. You guys can see this is all silicone and it's completely clear. And it's got this very 
it's got a very nice grip texture to it. So if you have your phone in there, which I can't showcase to you because I don't have the Galaxy S22, um, it's going to allow you to basically hold this and not drop your phone. And if you do drop your phone, the good thing about silicone compared to like a hard plastic, which some cases are, is instead of this just transferring the energy created by dropping your phone, it's going to absorb it. So instead of that, that energy being transferred to your phone, it's going to absorb it being that it's silicone, but it's super bendy too. You guys can see right here, it's a very well-made silicone too. I can bend it over and over and it just goes right back to its original form. Super clear. The cutout is very nice right here. Accurate cutout. You have your stylus cutout on the bottom, your charging port, I believe, uh, or that might be your charging port. Uh, I don't know what Galaxy S22s are. That's another port up there. Yeah, so if you guys need a new Galaxy S22 phone case, I think this is the one for you. Very simple design, very well made. Everything just feels really nice on this phone case. So definitely check this out from Humix. And it is time for a gift card again. All right. Time to join this gift card winner. Gift card, gift card. Christy H. Christy Hall, you have won a gift card. Are you here? I know you were here just recently. I don't know if I've seen your chat. Very recent. Christine Hall. Christy H, you are, if you are here, let us know. Christy Hall. Christy H. She was just here not too long ago. I'm going to step away for one second right over here to chat. If I can remember what I was going to step away for. Oh, I know what I was going to step away for. Christy Hall. Waiting for Clay. Oh, oh, I see you, Christy. And you win $10 gift card. Wow, this, they're all going to be in, in the Nikita stream. $100 likely all to be in the Nikita stream. Dang it. I'm, just, I'm using them we're up. Getting, I'm using we're, them we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the $100, but congratulations on the $10 gift card, Christy. Uh, rolling into the next product stream, we're going to take a look at this uh, Don Ginby Korean uh, uh, skin care set for men. It's got that, um, I was going to say flavor. Definitely don't try it. It's got that red ginseng uh, scent to it. it. Smells really good. It's a very unique scent. Uh, right now it's fifty two dollars down from eighty seven bucks, and it's a full it's a full system. Dong skin <laughs> dong skincare, no dong ginbi skincare. <laughs> so let me load up my video, then I'll kind of showcase it to you guys live on hand. Oh, I haven't charged my headphones in three days, and they have not died yet. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna start getting the uh, the notification that it's dying. In five minutes now. <laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Donginbi Self Care Facial Scrub for Men. This was actually a company that was formed in 1899, which was really surprising to me. So let's go ahead and just jump in and take a look at everything that comes with it. As you guys can see right here, this is the entire setup. So this is a full system to exfoliate and clean your skin. So as you can see right here, the first thing that we're gonna get is this little bottle. And what this is gonna be is your deep cleaning foam. So this is going to be your base cleaner for cleaning your face or your body, whatever it really is, even though this really is designed for your face. Continuing on, the next thing that you're gonna see right here is you are going to get this balancing toner. Now what this is, this is something that you apply to your face after you wash it before you moisturize it then right here this is going to be your moisturizer right here you guys can see here that it is a balancing moisturizer so this is supposed to even out the ph levels on your face then continuing on in the box you guys are going to notice the next thing that you're going to get is more moisture balancing cream right here 
So it's really cool that they're sending a ton of stuff just to take care of men's faces specifically. And then the last thing is going to be this moisture balancing toner. So this is just a bigger bottle of what I was showing you earlier. The other ones were basically just travel sizes if you guys are on the go. Now make sure if you guys do open this, you do make sure that you take that little tray out because underneath, kind of hidden right here, you guys have some of these little cloths right here that'll help exfoliate or help dry. So make sure that you take off that little tray that I took off a few seconds ago. Otherwise, you'll miss out on those little freebies right there. So taking a look at this, you guys can see right here that this design on these bottles is really cool. And honestly, this moisturizing cream is very soft. So all I want to do is just show you guys how this works. So I was a little bit confused whenever I first attempted to use this, but all you really have to do is after you put it upside down, just basically dab it on your skin and that will make the lotion come out. Now, obviously this is facial lotion, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you guys this. Honestly, the scent on this is very, very nice. It's got a very warm kind of wood, not necessarily citrus scent, but just a very nice scent on it. And this is very, very smooth and it spreads very well across the surface of your skin. So if you guys have been looking for a new skincare system and you're a guy, definitely check out this one from Donginbi and I will see you guys on the next video. All right, so let me switch over real quick to my, um, have we figured out the scent by the way? I haven't, it's an earthy scent, I know that. It's a very earthy scent. So this is the entire set right here. You guys can see very well packaged. Cool thing about this is it comes with two little travel size bottles right here. So it comes with the travel size bottles of the um, of the moisture balancing cream and a travel size bottle of the uh, moisture balancing toner, which I'm not even really sure like what the process is on cleaning your face. So I imagine you're going to use this first, the deep cleansing foam. So you're going to use that to get rid of all of the dirt and oils and stuff on your face and then you are going to yeah it's it, it's unisex i mean it's skin is skin but um it's just the scent is more of a manly scent then you're going to use the toner afterwards and then you're going to use the moisturizer now this is this is designed for men but the scent is just such a it's such a it's a very earthy scent Yeah, it's it's a, it's a very specific scent and it's strong too. So if you guys need a new skincare set with a very unique scent, definitely uh do you have to do something for the camera to adjust or does it do that automatically? It does that automatically. You see right here, I'll hold up my little 3D figure. So here's my hand. You guys can see it's out of focus and then automatically that's a, that's the Sony ZV-1. Very fast autofocus. I mean like Instant autofocus. It's incredible. But we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream and take a look at this uh, ABC Otech giant dance floor piano. This is going to be a live unboxing, probably not a test because I, I, I can't show you guys the floor. So let me go ahead and step back here. I'll turn up my gain a little bit so you guys can hear me while I step away. So this is the box right here. You guys can see that this, it says play one or two kids. It has record, playback, demo, play, adjustable volume. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed real quick, chat. Justin, if you could share a link in the chat to the Sony ZV-1 so he knows what camera we're talking about. All right. All right, so we're getting this unboxed. You have a little instruction manual right there. And then it looks like that's almost going to be it. So that's everything inside of here. We'll go ahead and set the box to the side because I'm going to put this back up once I'm done. And then you guys can see when we unfold this. Oh, it's actually a lot bigger than I imagined it would be. That's what she said. All right, so this is the whole thing. Let me see how this is powered. So it's going to be powered off of batteries, it looks like. So let me go ahead and grab a, uh, a Phillips screwdriver, which I have right behind me. I do have a Phillips, luckily. 
And I do have a battery compartment here too. So we'll go ahead and just take this off. So now that that is off, it needs four AA batteries, chat. Luckily, I have a battery drawer, which is awesome. I need it quite a bit for all these products that take batteries. So we've got our batteries in. We'll go ahead and screw this back down. Maybe. Hold on one second, chat. We're going to get it. There we go. Got it. Oh, maybe. No, we didn't. I lied to you, chat. I lied to you. Can you find it in your hearts to forgive me? There we go. Now I got it. We'll tighten that down and we'll turn it on. Let's try this out. So. You guys can see right there, it is turned on. So let's just go ahead and try it. Look at that. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta create a little bit more space here. This is cool. My inner child is coming out now. It's bringing me back. Get more space on here. Hold on. There we go. So let's see if it has multi-touch. So there's one. Wow, okay. Look how big this is too. This is this is very big. It doesn't have all the keys because obviously this is for, designed for kids. But I'm gonna try to do a song. I'm trying to think. I know how to play piano, I promise. I'm super good at it. No, nope, wrong key, wrong key. Hold on, we're gonna get it. Let me see. It's falling, I don't have a big enough desk for this thing. Chat, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this. I just need more space. I don't have enough space on my desk to do my song. There we go, one more time. So it works. It works super well. Let me go ahead and turn this off though. That's a little bit, my, my wife came and closed my door because I was literally making piano noises on a kid's toy machine. So if you guys need a new gigantic floor, now obviously this is supposed to be on the floor so kids can step on it. Definitely check this out, pretty interesting. Now let me see if I can fold this back up. Fold it back up in the same way that it came, which I have never been able to do. Let me see. We're going to get this figured out. Maybe it just keeps folding the way I'm doing it. Nope. There we go. We got it nice and folded up. Let's get the air out of it. Whoa. There's no way I'm going to get this back to the original state it was in. We're going to find out now, though, chat. Oh, no, it's definitely a lot more. It's more It's more bulgy than it was before, for sure. If I kind of squeeze it. And we did it. So definitely check out this ABCO Sport. Giant musical piano play map for kids. Pretty cool. All right. Don't forget to quit the batteries. We're going to switch over to the next product chat, and we're going to take a look at this Brilliant, Evolu Brilliant Evolution LED uh, puck light set. This comes with six. And these are really awesome. They do a really good job of modernizing your home. I think I say that in the video. Oh, 
Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at these absolutely awesome remote control LED puck lights from Brilliant Evolution. Let's go ahead and start this review by just checking out everything that comes inside of the box. So you'll notice whenever you get these and you unbox them, the first thing that you're going to see is you're going to have all of the puck lights. So we'll go ahead and remove all of them first and see what else comes with this before we jump into the full review of how the lights look. So looking here, you're going to get a user manual as well as some warranty information. Continuing on, you're going to get a few few sets of these double-sided 3M sticky adhesives. You're going to get a remote control that is very easy to use and I'll show you a little bit more about that later. And then continuing on in the unboxing, I'm going to go ahead and set all of these right here. As you guys can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're all ready to go. So we'll go ahead and take those out and we'll just take a look at one of them. Honestly, one of my favorite things about this is how clean and simplistic the design is on these. You guys can see it's just this all white color scheme, three LEDs on each one of these puck lights and it looks really nice. My favorite thing about these is that they came with three batteries. Being that there are six puck lights, you would need 18 batteries, and I can't even find two in my house half the time. So being that they sent batteries with it is really awesome. So we'll go ahead and get that put back together. And as you guys can see right here, this thing is actually really, really bright. I really like that it's a warm light and it's not a cool light. For some reason, it's just a more inviting look and a more inviting vibe whenever it is a warm lumen light. So all you have to do to get these installed is take one of these 3M adhesives and then what you're going to do is you can also use these screws, but I'm not going to use them for today's demonstration. And what you want to do is peel off one side and then you're just going to simply place it on the back right there in the middle, as you guys can see I'm doing here. And you kind of want to just smooth it out, as you guys can see I'm doing in the video, just to make sure that there's no air bubbles and it's going to stick as well as it possibly can. And then all you want to do is just find a place that you want to mount these. I'm going to go ahead and do these under my cabinet. But the coolest thing about these is if once you need to change the battery, you don't have to worry about taking the whole thing down and losing that stickiness so all i'm going to do is go ahead and install the other five led puck lights as you guys can see i'm doing right here one of them you won't see in the video but for this demonstration it's going to look really awesome so the controller is really awesome you have a ton of different features on here you're going to have your power on and you're going to have a bunch of other stuff that you can mess with on the settings so as you guys can see here right off of the bat this will bring any home regardless of when it is from to a more modern feel and a more modern vibe inside of your kitchen. I really like the way that these make the counter look and it kind of lights up the room and just really brings a nice vibe. And then once the lights are off, this is honestly a really good way to add a night light or just a more warm vibe to your entire setup. All right, guys, so this was Nate with Dragon Blogger just taking a look at the Brilliant Evolution LED puck lights. If you guys have been looking for something to kind of spice up your kitchen, spice up your hallway, whatever it is, definitely check these out. I'll see you on the next video. All right, so those are the Brilliant Evolution LED puck lights, but we have um, the next ones, which are also from Brilliant Evolu Evolution, and these are like kind of bar lights in a way, which also do a very good job of just making your house feel more modern. I'm going to go ahead and load up the video for those ones. And definitely check those out. $21 right now. Those ones are $34 for the puck lights, and this one is $21.24. So let me get that video loaded up for the new, the other ones. And I am hungry. I am going to eat an, entire, an entirely way too large plate of eggs after live stream today. <laughs> gonna be ridiculous i've decided i'm gonna treat myself to a bavarian pretzel and beer cheese on delivery mm, sounds tasty hey what is going on guys nathaniel with dragon blogger tech and entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look at these led under cabinet light two pack from brilliant solutions these are honestly really cool lights so let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything that comes with it so one of the first probably not any taters but i also need to go outside I don't know if I have enough time. I have like a brisket portion I need to go get smoked. It's been in the fridge for like a day, defrosted, two days now. So I need to go smoke it before it rots in my fridge. First things that you're going to notice that you get. I'm not doing keto with all the eggs. I'm just a very, I just really like eggs. <laughs> I like just, I, I love really I, like I, 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 I love eggs too. I love eggs. Like I'll right. do scrambled eggs and spinach. I'll do, you know, broccoli omelets. I just love, love eggs yeah. too. Eggs are amazing. So I love them. So, so inside first. of the box is going to be this little instruction manual as well as some warranty. Terry Quick, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Listen, if you guys haven't already entered to win our gift card giveaways, uh, be sure to get entered. The link is in chat, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Kindred Spirit, hello, hello. Go ahead and hit that follow, Kindred, if you're not already following. Information. 
So continuing on, the next thing you're going to get is some double-sided sticky tape and screws to mount these if you do want to mount them. And then you are going to get not one, but like I said in the beginning of the video, two of these LED lights. So we'll go ahead and open these up. And it's nice that they sent them in these little bubble wrap containers. I just think it looks really nice on their part. And they're just making sure that these are protected while shipping. So taking a look right here, it's got this nice kind of cream white finish on the top. You can see that it has a little wireless signal just showing that it's wireless. And you're also going to get the remote, which has a ton of features such as a timer setting, a brightness setting, an on-off setting. Uh, just a bunch of stuff that you can do right here on the remote. So pretty handy that they have all of those features. Continuing on, you're going to notice that you will need three AA batteries for each one of these LED lights, which isn't that big of an issue. But if you're anything like me, you have to constantly hunt for batteries, but we found some anyways. So continuing on, let's just go ahead and get these guys in and just don't do what I do. Make sure that you line up the holes on the side because I broke off a clip on one of these trying to line it up, uh, but I was able to get it to line up with the other clips and it was all good. Then once you have those on to get these installed, just simply install the double-sided sticky tape. I would recommend doing two of these just to be safe. I mean, one is probably strong enough, but I did two on each and they sent six total just to make sure that you have enough. So just smooth those out. You kind of want to get all of those air bubbles out. But once you do that, you should be good to go ahead and find a place to mount these. So right underneath my cabinet, as you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the back side of this double-sided sticky tape to expose the adhesive. And then you just kind of want to find a good place under your cabinet. I just put my hand under here just to make sure that there was no screws or anything that I was going to be putting it against. And then once you push it up there, you just want to kind of apply pressure all the way across just to make sure that it's going to stay up there and not fall off after you apply it. The double sided sticky is very sticky, but just make sure that you put some good pressure on it. And as you guys can see here, controlling this is super easy. All you have to do is just press the green button to turn it on. Then you're going to have a ton of options as well as turning it off. You guys can see here, there's a ton of different brightness settings and it's a really smooth transition between the different brightness levels, which I thought was just a really nice feature. It didn't do any hard cuts to the next brightness level or the lower brightness level. So that's really nice. So if you guys have been looking for some nice new LED lights that might make your home feel more modern like it did with me, Definitely check these out from Brilliant Evolution, and I'll see you on the next video. All righty. So if you guys need some new LED under counter lights, definitely check out those ones from Brilliant Evolution. Uh, we're going to switch over to the next product and take a look at this Mighty Bliss electric heating pad. So I will go ahead and get that video loaded up. And then after this, we will be doing another gift card giveaway, it looks like. Yep, we will. After this video, we'll do another gift card giveaway. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Mighty Bliss heating pad. So this is for pain relief. So it says that it warms up in seconds and that it is instant pain relief. So let's go ahead and just unbox it and see everything that it comes with. So everything's packaged really well. I really do enjoy the branding and just kind of the color scheme of the packaging. I, look, I think it looks really modern and just simplistic. So that's everything inside of the box as you guys can see right here. This is the entire heating pad right here. So let's just go ahead and get this out and wow. Immediately right off of the rip, you're going to see that you have Yeah, he has been up for he has been up for 12 hours and uh he is super tired, so he's not as talkative today, but that's fine. We're getting through the stream faster today. Uh, I, I'm I'm here, I'm fine. I have an instruction I'm, I'm, I'm manual actually, here, a little bit of a notice. I didn't have Nikita's show fully set up for the next stream blanket after. itself. So, I'm, I'm really so one of the things I to, noticed uh, immediately about the blanket is how <laughs> I didn't have a show. You can also feel all something. of the different kind of heating elements. Already. So the cool thing about that is there's not going to be just one section or a couple sections that are heated. The heating elements, if you guys can see, kind of those lines are all the way throughout here. So super soft on the pad right there. And then you are going to have the controller, which has a super long cable. It looks like the controller is pretty simple to use. All you have to do is just turn it on and then there is a high, medium and low setting. But let's go ahead and jump in. Let's just uh, plug this in and we'll see what this thing's about. All right. So one of the things that I wanted to point out to you guys was that that you get a lifetime warranty. All you have to do is text lifetime to the number provided. I'm not going to show the number just because I don't want to. So we got the blanket all powered up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place it over this back shoulder because I actually did kind of sleep on it wrong and it does feel a little bit achy and a little bit sore. And I'm just going to lean some pressure on that 
And as you guys can see right here, we have it plugged in. I'm just gonna go ahead and press the power button. So right now it is on the low setting. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to high so we can see how fast this thing actually heats up. And while this is heating up, I did wanna go ahead and let you guys know that this does have an auto shut off feature. So it will automatically shut off after a certain amount of time. All right guys, so we're in about 30 seconds of this heating up and I can already feel that warmth on my back mm -hmm. right here and it is heating up so quickly. I mean, I can actually feel it. So I'm gonna come back in a couple of minutes on the video, you'll see a cut, and that's just gonna be me telling you after a couple of minutes how warm it got. All right guys, so this is current Nate, present Nate speaking. Right now, you and I both are watching past Nate do his own thing, fast forwarded in real time. Oh, he's got a little bit of a scratch there. Got a little bit of an itch, past Nate. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump back to past. Yeah, it's coming along well. I'm not having any issues with it. Future, future Nate now. Yeah, it's the future, future Nate. Ask Nate and see what he has to say about this. All right, guys, so it's been a couple of minutes and I can honestly say that this thing warms up very, very well. I'm not gonna say it's so hot that it's uncomfortable or that it's painful, but it definitely gets very hot to the point where it's starting to get into those muscles. So if you guys have any muscle pains, I highly recommend this heating blanket from Mighty so Eric, yours was one of the, um, yours was one of the, uh, products that got shipped back to me for incorrect postage, but it was reshipped yesterday. So this, this thing works super duper well. I can see this being good for athletes, people that have just constant back pain. So when you ask it, I try to have the reviewers, the live streamers, I try to put their own products as most often in their own Anything. The live streams about this where I can, is... because they could speak better to the products since they've actually used them. Now they will do play videos of the other streamers covered content too, but I do my best to try to have the majority of the products, the same ones that that live stream host did. So if you notice Nikita stream later, a lot of the products are going to be the ones that Nikita did because they're, they can speak about them better on hand since they're the ones who actually had the hands on review. Yeah. Them. And yeah, so there was just a, a bunch of things that happened. So first of all, some of the things got sent back to me for incorrect postage because I weighed everything wrong. I print stuff at home and then ship it off from home. They just pick it up. Uh, so I did incorrect postage on three different three people's stuff. Um, and then I got COVID and I didn't want to reship because um, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to send COVID with the package. Um, so if you guys are waiting on stuff, I promise it's it's all it's all on its way. Uh, but just just know that I didn't forget that you guys want stuff from me specifically. Um, I just I just had COVID. I think I still do, but I just don't want to. Didn't want you guys to get sick. Yeah, I had COVID. I I came down with it really bad last Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember. this is flexible so you're able to basically put this wherever you need it on your body so super cool there if you guys are looking for something like this i highly recommend this heating blanket from mighty bliss and i'll see you on the next one all right so switching over to the next product but we are doing a gift card giveaway now so let's go ahead and get that get that done justin well we're going to take a look at the serene evolution white noise machine i appreciate that john thank you I don't know if Justin's here. I appreciate no, that, I Evan. I am. My wife just let me know she landed. Oh, okay, um, awesome. AC Garcia, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So she boarded her flight with my son at 4.50 a.m. this morning to the airport. So Man. they got delayed. They said the brakes on the plane were malfunctioning, so they delayed the flight by two hours while they had to repair the brakes on the plane. So they finally landed <laughs> Yeah, this 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 COVID case really knocked me out. Like so like the bad symptoms like the cough and the just the illness and body aches. I had it for like 2 days. One day specifically was just it was so rough, but I was so for in a 48-hour period when I first got the symptoms, I was asleep for 40 of those 48 hours. Um it Sean, was, Sean Knight is the next gift card winner. Sean, Sean Knight. Knight, you have one. Are you here Sean Knight? Yeah. Sean Knight, are you here? And I, I I thought I was over it, but over the past like two or three days, I still have stuff coming out of my chest. And All right, I, still I see get... you, Sean. Congratulations. Sean is here, here, and let's see how much it is. 
five dollars. Five dollars. Okay, so we knocked it out. Congratulations on the five dollar gift card. Let's good continue news. The on. Good, the, good news, the good news is everybody who's won five dollars or ten dollars this stream, you're eligible to come back for Nikita stream. So whereas if we were to draw another winner right now and it was a hundred dollars. You couldn't win two gift cards in the same stream, but but now you can come back during the Kata stream and enter and still have a chance to win that. Yeah, so say on the next gift card that we do, because we still have four more on today's stream. Say you win a $100 gift card on this stream, you could come back and potentially win the other $100 gift card. What do I do? So you're going to go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live, but we're going to go ahead and play this video. I'll drop a link in the chat. You'll go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to get entered. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this absolutely awesome portable white noise machine from Serene mm -hmm. Evolution. This thing has a ton of features and built in presets. So let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that this comes with. Unboxing this was very simple. As you guys can see here, there's only a couple of things inside of the box. Hey, buddy. The first thing you're going to notice that you get is this instruction manual that will tell you what each sound does. But I will go ahead and go through all of those for you guys on this video. And then you are going to get the main unit itself. As you guys can see here, it's a very simplistic design. I like the cream white that they have on it with the gray trimming around the top there. It's got a rubber footing on the bottom to help with vibration and movement. As you guys can see there, speakers on top and a bunch of controls. This might look confusing to some of you guys, but we're just going to go ahead and show you all of the sounds on this machine. So let's go ahead and jump in and test this thing out. But the first thing you guys need now to know is that hair. in order to get this thing powered on, you will need three AA batteries. Once you get those installed, just slip on the back and then you will be good to go. So let's go ahead and test all of those sounds out right now. Oh, thanks, kitty. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a terrible idea, Darren. That sounds terrible. Melissa Lopez Garcia has now entered the chat. Thank you for the follow, first of all. And Tabitha Sturgill, thank you for the follow. So the 3D printer is making this guy, just in a different color, in a different filament. So it's making this guy right here in this filament. Is that the new filament that you're testing to showcase for the for yeah, that since, brand? Since, yeah, since yours failed. <laughs> I'm reprinting that guy with the new filament. Yeah, we're not going to hit the two, the um, six thousand followers during your stream, but if there's, there is still a slight chance we can by Nikkei's stream if we have yep. a surge of viewership. And All right, so you guys can see there it has a ton of different sounds. That is, I didn't realize that video was so long. Um, so definitely check out that Serene Evolution 18 you, sound. You pulled, you pulled the James. What? Yeah, no, no joke. Uh, so definitely check that out, chat. We're going to look at this Hertzko self-cleaning slicker brush for dogs. This thing works really, really well. And my dog loves it. He freaks out. Every time I say, I ask him, I say, are you ready for brush? Brush, brush? 
and he like starts wiggling. He goes crazy. He loves it. What the heck? Oh, that's why. That's my own fault. There we go. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel Dragon Burger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking else. a look at this Hertzko Self Cleaning Pet Slicker Brush. If you guys have dogs, which I know a lot of you guys out there do, you guys are probably watching that this video for a reason. You're looking for a new way to get rid of some of that dander, some of that dandruff, some of that hair that is all over your furniture, and I think this might be the answer for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this brush by Hertzko is made very, very well. Everything feels solid on the yeah. handle. You guys can see right there, you have this nice soft touch material and you might be wondering where the bristles are and that is where the self cleaning comes into play. So if you guys take a look at this, even though this is super purple, it works super well. So right here, there's a little button. What you wanna do is basically push that button in. It will lock the bristles out. And then once you're done cleaning, your dog or brushing your dog, you guys will be able to push it and then all of the hair will stay on top whenever you release it back into its little carrying area as you guys could see right there. So this thing definitely feels really cool but let's go ahead and see if it works really cool. So we'll go ahead and get my best boy up here. His name is Ninja. And as you guys could see as soon as I put him up there he thought I was going to leave him but of course I'm not going to do that. We'll go ahead and grab this Hertzko brush and we'll just start brushing him. And honestly, he was a little bit nervous at first just because he's not a big fan of new things. But you guys can see right here, he starts getting in. Yeah, so you guys look, watch. You can see his nervous face right here. And then one second later, once he realizes it feels great, he gets so excited. Watch. He was a little bit nervous at first just because he's not a big fan of new things. But you guys can see right here, he starts oh, yeah. getting into it and he starts. He's like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Keep doing that. I like that really liking it crocs are and i'm not even out. kidding you guys 20 minutes after that he was sighing and barking and everything just because he wanted me to go brush him again so one thing i was doing a little bit wrong is you guys don't have to brush as hard because this thing is getting deep into their undercoat and their undercoat is something that they need so definitely just be a little bit gentle with them this thing does a really good job of just getting that fur off and he wanted to go down so i guess it's time to showcase you guys what this thing did you guys can see right here it picked up a bunch of hair but where this shines is how easy it is to clean gone are the days of manually pulling out hair from those bristles you do not have to do that anymore with this hertz code brush this thing worked super super well my wife is going to love this on doggy grooming days if you guys need a new pet brush check this one out all right chat so that is the hertz Co. self-cleaning slicker brush for dogs very awesome we're going to switch over to probably the best invention ever. We're going to take a look at these Crocs. We're going to go to pass, 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 Nate, and see what he thinks about these on another live stream. So they make these in a ton of different colors i mean any color you can really think of they make them like that they've got this kind of like anti-slip good grip on the bottom they're dirty because i wear them a lot don't judge me guys i like my crocs and i mean this is just a classic croc one of my favorite things about these crocs is um many people like to try to decipher what this little band here is for i will tell you what this band here is for it is for sport mode so say you're walking down the road in your Crocs and you put them on like this, right? And then things get serious. You're like, wow, I really need to get out of here really fast. This is all you have to do, guys. Just trust me. I'm a professional Croc user. Take that band, put it, put your foot there. Crocs and socks. Now you're in sport mode. <laughs> you see unmatched speed pure aggression with these crocs so they come in a bunch of different colors here on the inside you have this little like i guess grip which is pretty cool the bling yes so this is something i did not even know existed people 3d print bling for their crocs and these little holes 
which are really just ventilation holes for your feet so these don't stink up. So these little blings that you can get, you can just put them in the holes and then like you're like decking out, like upgrading your Crocs. They make them in a bunch of different sizes. Definitely, you guys, you guys need to pick up your pick yourself up some Crocs. I used to make fun of them too. I don't know why. Crocs are like the Nickelback of the shoe world. People just hate on them without any reason. Crocs, get yourself some Crocs. I can't really explain Crocs. To All right, so that's gonna be it for the Croc video. It is now time for another gift card giveaway. So Justin, do your thing. Oh my goodness, cat! What the heck? Go over there, buddy. Do they use? Yep. Let me just. Everybody entered. Everybody entered. I'm gonna do another gift card winner right now. Does anybody need help entering? It's dragonblogger.com slash enter live. Let me see if there's anyone in the stream or just the stream. Check. You did miss my demo of Crocs. I can go back if you need me to. I'll do the flash portion. You guys can see this is just pure speed. If you look up speed in the dictionary, it'll just have this video playing like Harry Potter. Uh, no, the next physical prize is in the Cadence stream. These are all the remaining gift cards. It's funny. Yeah, they do. They do last year's because, there's, I mean, it's, it's a solid piece. It's, it's one big solid piece. <laughs> Looking in chat. Does anybody say that they haven't entered or don't have to enter? Okay. I'm looking now. Enter at dragonblogger.com slash enter live. Go to that I'll URL. Roll okay, halfway down the page. Click on sign in via Amazon or email to the Gleam widget and then enter. No, you can't 3D print Crocs, but what a lot of people do is 3D print Croc like jewels, which you can put in charms. the hole. Charms, not jewels. Yeah, charms. I know you didn't see me because I had the Crocs in, in sport mode. Yeah, the band is for sport mode for when stuff gets serious. So, 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 Sachi, did you figure it out? I'm still waiting for you to figure it out, so I don't exclude you from this draw. Look at the face. Look at the freeze frame. So, actually, some people do. There is a filament called TPU, which is bendable. Some people have printed shoes. Like, let me switch over to this real quick. Let me switch over to this. I'll show you guys something pretty cool. So there's so there, there there's a website. Oh my gosh, get it together, Nate. So no, we did not Cosmos. We did not reach six k followers yet. So there's a website called Thingiverse. You guys can see right here where you can pretty much search up anything you could really think of whenever it comes to three D prints. So let's do shoes. Let's just see what shoes. Okay, so. There's a wedge sandal you can 3D print or a woman's shoe. Like, so some people do print stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff. So somebody 3D designed this clots, quick tie shoes. So these attach to your shoes in order to make sure that you can tie them really fast. So you guys can see right there. Simple as that. And there's just so many things. You can just come on here. Like there's there's Grogu. You guys can 3D print Grogu. There's a bunch of stuff you can 3D print. I mean, really anything you can think of. And then if you if you want to get like more premium, there's like websites where you have to pay for the file. Everything on Thingiverse is free. Okay, it, so. Okay, so if you scroll down past the second paragraph on the website, uh, at, so, Nate, can you go to dragonblogger.com slash enter live and show Sachi where the giveaway widget is? If you don't see it, it might be your browser. So go to dragonblogger.com slash enter live and show Sachi where the widget is. So it's if you right scroll down, it's right. if you see, there's two paragraphs under quick draw right here. So quick draw is right there. Then there's two paragraphs. This is where you're going to enter live right here. So my scroll cookie... down, you'll see a sign in. Uh, say, where are my yeah, cookies yeah, disabled? Yeah. You can oh, just I've, click on that. Yeah, yeah. Click here to enter. Yeah. So then you'll click here to enter. It'll pull up a new page. 
So now all you have to do is um, well, it does it's not really showing. Well, no, you'll see the sign in options. You have to sign in with either the Amazon, the email, the Facebook, or the Twitch. Uh, join our Amazon live show. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, no, it's at the bottom. The one of the little icons on the bottom. Oh, log in using Amazon. So we'll do that real quick. Well, I don't know my Amazon, but you'll sign but, uh, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll sign in, then you'll see the entries. Yeah. So just like that. Here you can you can 3D print the 2020 the 2022 Batman full suit. You guys can see that they put a file for every single piece to 3D print a life size suit for Batman. That is crazy. And then if you want to get even crazier, if you want to get even crazier, you can go to this website, which is called Gambody. And on Gambody, you're able to print like top of the line 3D modeled figures. And they cost money because it's like premium, premium graphic designers that design these things. So you guys can see right there, you could God of War, or if you guys are Game of Thrones fans, you can print the Night King right here. Or you can print Khaleesi's uh, Viserion dragon. This is all 3D printed stuff right here, chat. It's incredible. And then you can paint it afterwards. There's there's so many there's so many things you can do. But all right, so are we good? Or still not yet? Did you figure it out, Sachi? Sachi, are you good? Go ahead. I'm sorry for holding you guys up. I just got out of the house and spent a bunch of time in a coma. Oh my gosh! Wow, I am so sorry that that happened to you. Well, we still have we still have three other um, gift cards after this one, so um, you should have time to get entered to win one of the other three. <laughs> Ed S. gift card winner. Ed, you are the gift card winner, and let's see how much it is. Ed, are you here? First of all, I don't think I've seen you in chat for a while. Edithy, oh Edithy. <laughs> He might not be here anymore. Ed, you are the winner. All right, 45 seconds, Ed. Oh, he's, uh, here. Latova, he's here. He's here. Okay, Latova, you have to go to DragonBlogger.com and go live. You already missed it for this draw, but there's still plenty more draws. DragonBlogger.com slash enter live. The giveaway widget to enter is on that website. So congratulations, Ed. Now let's see how much you won. Five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars. Congratulations, Ed. We're gonna roll into the next product and take a look at the Holy Stone HS seven twenty G. It's a great there's only nine there's only nine gift cards left and two of them are five dollars. So yep. dang it, and we have three of them on this stream, so Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the HS720G 4K drone from Holy Stone. This is their top of the line drone. So we're going to go ahead and dive in and see everything that it comes with first. So as usual with Holy Stone, as you guys can see here, as I'm kind of cutting this plastic off, it does come with a case. This one does kind of have like a faux leather feel to it and a little handle on it, which is pretty nice. And then one of the first things you're going to notice right here is you're going to get a box inside of a box. And then inside of that box, you are going to get the battery. Now, they don't send two batteries with this, which is a little bit different from what they normally do. But this is their highest end model. And then you're going to get the charging cable for that battery right here, as well as a little screwdriver for maintenance. Continuing on, you are going to have your extra propellers just in case you crash this thing and mess them up. And then going forward right here, you're going to get a little bit of documentation such as some warning labels and then the user manual to get you up and going. And then continuing on right here inside of the case, you're going to notice that you're going to get your handheld controller. Now, this controller is very similar to the ones that they have used in the past. But we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the features that this has here in a little bit later on in the video. And then finally, the last thing we're going to have inside of this case is going to be the drone itself. Now, this is a compact folding drone, just like some of their other drones. Uh, this one does feel a little bit sturdier, and it does have a little bit of design changes. Some quick specs about this. It does have a two-axis 
gimbal. So that's going to give you nice, smooth video when you're recording and also has electronic image stabilization. And as you guys can see here on the right, this is how they fold in. You just basically fold them in and you're even going to have your SD card right here so you can record directly to an SD card. On the back is going to be your battery slot with a battery light indicator. And then taking a look at the right side, just more of the arms. And that's basically it for the overview of the drone itself. Taking a little bit of a closer look at the remote here. As you guys can see here, this does take on some of their form factor that they've used in the past with their other handheld controllers. The antennas are foldable as well as the grips. And it does have a pop-out phone holder so you can get that live view. Getting this set up was really easy. You just want to download the Ophelia Fly app and then walk through the instructions that are on screen. It'll get you ready and paired up. It's super easy to do. But once you have that all paired up, as you guys can see here, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and find a nice semi-level place to set this down so we can get this flying. And right before we take off, we're going to go ahead and just go over some of the features that are on screen and on the controller. So on the controller side of things, you can see that we have a battery level indicator for the drone itself. For the controller, we have a battery indicator. How many GPS satellites we're connected to? We're going to have the launch button, the lock button, return to home, which will automatically return it to where it took off from in case of an emergency. And then you're going to have basically a speed selector right up there on the top right. If you hold it down, you can see that we are in sport mode, which is high speed. Then we switch to low speed. We're going to go ahead and go back to high speed because we do not want to fly slow. And as you can see, it just indicated right up there. On the right side, you are able to switch between photo and video mode. So we'll go ahead and look at some of the settings for the video. So there's auto white balance, there's gray scale, there's a whole bunch of different settings for video color. You're going to have two different video types, which is going to be 30 frames per second at 4K and 1080p at 60 frames per second. Enough of all of me talking though, let's go ahead and get this thing in the air and see what this thing is capable of. I'm super excited being that this is their highest end model. So as you guys can see here, we are now looking at the camera live view. We are now recording at 4K 30 frames per second. Again, this is at 4K 30 frames per second. As you can see on that launch, that image stabilization electronically and the gimbal do a really good part in making sure that you get smooth video. This is honestly immediately a big step up from the drone that I have tested from them in the past. While that one wasn't bad, this one is definitely a lot better. We're going to go ahead and switch over now. We are recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And one of the things I noticed about this camera and the sensor that they have built in with the HS720G is the sensor is just a lot better. The colors are more vibrant. Seems to be working better than the previous version of the drone that I had tested. So it definitely works really well. All right, guys, this was just a quick overview of the HS720G drone from Holy Stone. They really step up their game at the top of the line for this drone. So for a new drone that is very easy to learn and fun to fly around with, I highly recommend this one, and I'll see you on the next video. Dang it, how long have I been talking? Anyways, what I was saying, <laughs> I've been talking for so long, chat. I didn't even know I was muted. That's 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 on me. I didn't even realize I was muted. But anyways, that is the HS720G. We missed a uh we missed a really good deal on it from yesterday at 239. Uh but at 299, it's still a great drone because it has okay, so, that, so many features. That's an example where a prime day deal didn't carry over into the second day. Yeah. Yeah, but at 299 it still has a ton of features and it's an awesome beginner drone that has non-beginner drone features built into it. Uh, now the next product that we're going to take a look at is the HS-175 drone from Holy Stone. 175D, actually. I always wonder when, like, how companies come up with, like, product names if they just make stuff up. I mean, HS is obviously Holy Stone, but, like, the 720 and the 175, like, where does that come from? No idea. 
the worst is so monitors kind of hard to though see, and TV models. Oh yeah, it's that bad. looks like and you can kind of see model the number angle. scheme I've ever seen. Uh, this button mm -hmm. right here is the one that you press to get a lift off. But before you can do that, you have to unlock it. So this gesture right here is what unlocks it. Or you can use the left side and push up. There's instructions that show you how to do both. But basically, I'll be back when I go grab one drink. That button okay. and boom, it's right off the ground. Typically, it's gonna hover. It was a pretty windy day, so that's why it's kind of not staying um, in the same spot. It's getting blown around just a little bit. But you can control it. The right side is typically forward, backwards, left and right. And then the left side of the controller is altitude, up or down. Um, and you can see I'm pushing up here and it's slowly going up. And then I'm pushing down now and then it's going to go down. Um, but you can switch the orientation by following the instructions. And you can kind of see how, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's just, it's just a really cool uh, thing to have. So we can, you can see us here in the image. I have it trying to hover in front of us. And uh, basically, you press the same button and it goes right back down. Next up here, I'm going to show one of the really cool features of it, which is the fact that you can kind of fly it wherever you want to. And then uh, if you hit a button on it, it'll come back. That's because this thing syncs up with GPS, which is really really cool it's something you can see in the bottom left corner of the app but basically i'm pressing the button and it rises up into the air um in order to try to come back home as you can see on screen splash and going home uh we had a little bit of an issue here i was worried about it hitting the trees and possibly breaking one of the propellers or something so when it gets here i actually um hit the button again uh to stop the the dissension and then I move around myself um, to try to maneuver it um, over to even ground. I have to kind of push it forward and then bring it down and push it forward and bring it down because the wind is blowing it in such a way that's making it kind of hard. But basically once I get it over safe ground, um, I again hit the button um, to land it and it lands perfectly fine. All right, so if you guys need a drone and you don't want to spend the $2.99 on the top of the line Holy Stone, right now Holy Stone or always, they're always making awesome drones. This one is on sale with a 4K camera. Or not on sale, but it's 180 bucks. So if you guys want a new Holy Stone drone, definitely check that out. So if you're seeing the button to enter the giveaway or to uh, to join the um, yeah, it's under those. Amazon it's under live those. stream, it's under where you see Discord, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. That's where you'll see that. So below those, you'll see login using, you'll see Amazon, an email or like a like a envelope. You'll see the Facebook logo and Twitch. So that's where it's under all that. Yeah, it's these little tiny boxes that show you to log in, via, sign in via Amazon, email, Twitch, or to Facebook. Scroll, you yeah, you just haven't it. scrolled far enough, it sounds like. But it is time for another gift card giveaway. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to update. After the stream, I'm going to update that page to like help people sign in below this button. <laughs> and then the next product, as we're doing this, is the DRC Brushless uh, RC Boat. That goes 30 plus miles an hour on the water, $79.99 down from $100. Bucks. So 20 bucks off on that. HP Hewlett Packard followed us. Wow. Wow. Send us some Omen stuff. Wow, HP. No way, imagine. <laughs> That's like when Nick Hada had Jeff Bezos, Jeff underscore Bezos follow him and said <laughs> on this stream. Jeff Bezos, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, chat. Now that we're, this is my last Prime Day, I am going to start knocking out videos left and right and flooding Justin so bad. It's just the only the, the crappy thing about and I yeah, I keep I'm not trying to use this as a crutch. The crappy thing, chat, is like you after you have COVID, you think you're fine. And even if you do have like mild symptoms, like you think you're good. Like, all right, I'm just going to get up and do stuff. But then like it reminds you like your body is still not ready. So I was so exhausted yesterday for no reason. But also six and a half hours just staring at a screen and talking to seemingly no one because I mean nobody's really in here uh can be pretty mentally draining i guess yeah it comes back and hits you in a whole new way all right winner is terry q terry quick is there a terry quick in chat terry quick you are the winner congratulations terry quick terry quick's there to claim the prize
me see if there's a different Amazon handle. Some people have different Amazon handles. Nope, just Terry Quick. Terry, are you in chat? Terry Quick. 45 seconds waiting. Hmm. <laughs> Jennifer, I can be 30 Terry. seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds, Terry Quick. You might have an anonymous bug. So if you have an anonymous bug, refresh the page, come over to Twitch. Somewhere. Proof of life. 20 seconds. Trying to get you to at least have an hour and a half, Justin, of chill time or prep time. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. We're 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 go we're our scheduling's fine. Everyone in chat right now, I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> and I'm a machine. I used to work in twelve to fourteen hours straight for my regular job. So this is <laughs> everybody yeah, everybody in chat, I'll be your Huckleberry. Everyone, everyone will be Terry. All right, go ahead and redraw. All right, yep. Sorry, Terry not here to claim. F in chat. New winner. F in chat. F in chat. Does okay, I just want to make sure you guys know what you guys are talking about. Or you guys know what F means, right? F means pay respect. And yeah, yeah. the reason they say that is because on a game called Fallout, you had to on keyboard and mouse, if you played Fallout on on your I mean on computer keyboard and mouse, there was a part where it said pay respect and it said click F to pay respect. So that's where that comes yeah. from. Yeah, that's a gamer. That's a gamer term. So Zach Bradshaw is the next winner. Is there a Zach Bradshaw in chat? Zach Bradshaw, are you in chat? Zach Bradshaw. Oh, congratulations, Zachary Bradshaw. All right, let's One. see how much it is. Come on, hundred dollars. We still have, we have two more after this. Come on, hundred dollars. Let's go. It's seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars, though. Still, congratulations, Zach. That's the biggest one we've done so far. Seventy five dollars. Congratulations, Zach. You have won a seventy five dollar Amazon gift card that will be on its way to you. Uh, we're gonna continue on. We're trying to get Justin to the point where he can have a little bit of free time before this because he's been back to back to back. You guys got to think, even though I streamed for a long time yesterday and four hours today, Justin's been on every live stream, uh, moderating and just doing all this stuff. But we're going to take a look at this DRC brushless RC boat. Hey, everyone. My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be showing you guys this brushless high speed RC boat. As you nice can see, intro there. it has it comes with a manual on the inside of how to put it together and how to set it up. <laughs> comes with a little bit of tools of a charger, a display stand. And many more and it also comes with a display stand which is really easy to put together as you can see i'm just sliding these pieces into each other really easy really simple just to to display your boat whenever you rover you use so many acronyms that i can't keep up like you type in acronyms <laughs> he speaks in acronyms in real life too he says lol when something's funny you're not you know, riding on the water or whatever. And you can display your boat however you want it and wherever you want to put it. And then you, it comes with a remote, as you can see, a wireless remote, which on that, it has the button that has the speed switch of how fast you can make it go. Then it has the LED lights you can put on and the steering trim right there. And you have the power button on this one. And then you have the steering wheel that, you know, make it turn left or right. And then you have the uh, accelerator at the bottom. It takes three double. It is it is battery powered, so you have to recharge the battery, and then the controller takes three double A's. Play batteries, as you can see, and it also has this battery right here, which you that's the battery right there you would uh, charge, and it also you will fire powered. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward. It's really well made. Clockwise, too. and the other one counterclockwise, which it has the arrows that point for you, and you will pop it right up. And as you can see, there's. A little slot for the battery you can go into, which you know you will slide those. It has little arrows, like I said, to turn those or where the arrow points to, and then you will easily just pull it right up and it will come out. So it's like I said, it's like a little slot for the battery, and that's the connector that you will connect the battery to. You here, easy. You just plug the white parts, which I'll. Show. 
take this i do and there we go you have the low battery alarm function that will beep whenever you know it's low and you can also take this to a pool or a lake as i'm gonna show you right now so on the water you can see that it is extremely fast and honestly really cool and i do you know i recommend you guys to at least try this out it's really awesome really cool design and again this is by drc and again this is the boat that you want and again oh my gosh what he is struggling chat on this outro and again this is the <laughs> and i can i can make fun of him because he's my best friend in real life i can make fun of him Get it together, Demetrius. Listen to listen to this outro, chat. Please try this out. It's really awesome, really right. cool design. And again, this is by DRC. And again, this is the boat that you will want. And again, my name is Demetrius, and thank you for watching. All right, so if you guys need a new uh, RC boat, that one is $20 off right now. We're going to keep rolling, even though we do have a gift card after this next product, which is the DRC 9300. Uh, remote control car by DRC. I love DRC. They make such good stuff. They really do. So let me go ahead and load up that video for you, chat. Bada boom, bada bang, and here we go. Hey, everyone. My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be showing you guys. It's the same video. Let's Let's load up the right one this time, Nate. Let's try that. There we go. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff and I'm here today to talk to you about this absolutely insane monster truck from DRC. This is the 9300 model and this thing is a beast. So before I go over all this, let's quickly go over what was included in the box. So right here you have the product manual. This is going to tell you a lot of useful tips and tricks for using and maintaining this vehicle. So I highly recommend you give it a go through. Outside of that, they do include a spare battery with this as well, which is awesome. So there's already one inside here, but they give you a second one as well. And what this does is it enables you to double your time that you can play with it. Each battery is going to last you about 20 minutes worth of play time. So this is going to give you 40 minutes. And chat, we are doing a giveaway after this. You come from the IRC chat days. I don't even know what that is. There are some things that you can put on here, such as gift card giveaway after this video. There's the link. And uh, who was it earlier that was having trouble? Were you able to figure it out? So Sachi left a comment on my blog and I gave them a direct URL to the Gleam directly easy to, to see if it was easier. There I'll, is I'll, a I'll speed switch on here, so you can actually throttle the speed if you want, or you can increase it. This thing can go all the way up to about 25 miles an hour, which is the speed limit outside my house. So this thing can really get up and go. It also does have this wonderful steering trim, which this will control the trim of the front wheels and it's going to help you get tighter turns or get a nice straight shot when you want it. Here's the vehicle itself. It looks pretty sweet. I love the skin on this. A lot of the... I'm going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit in this where he drives it. You guys want to see the good stuff. All right, I have this set up in my living room, so let's see what it can do. Wreck. Terry, quick, you were too late. Yeah, I think we did pull you, unfortunately. And then we had to we had to redraw because we gave you the minute. Alright, that's on low speed. Let's crank it up and see what's really capable of. There we go. This is going to be so fun to play with. Oh my goodness. Well, assuming that the random card would have done that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So if you guys need a new remote control RC car, that's a little nice tiny one from DRC. That's the 9300. You guys can see they're super high powered. And DRC, they're just, they just make really good stuff. But it is time for another gift card giveaway. So let's go ahead and draw that. You love watching the 3D the, thanks. printer? Yeah, thanks for my feedback, Evan. So it was a good idea that he put that extra little 3D printer. I, I think it's that. just something if you guys are... I, I just thought that it would be kind of cool for you guys to sit there and watch.
Yeah, that's crazy. All right, we'll see what somebody gets now. Ready? Well, we got to see who. See who first. Oh, it's a James here video, right when I'm right when my stomach's growling. Great. And he's so making it, food. It, it is Jeanette Jackson. Jeanette J, are you Jeanette here in Jackson. Chat? Jeanette Jackson. If you are here, you have won an Amazon gift card. Come on down. All right, let's see how much she is yeah, here. Yeah, Craig, Craig J, we've been doing giveaways all stream. We have one more gift card after this one that was just one. So Yep, here's the link. And then, to and then we have so many more giveaways coming during the K to stream. Eight more gift cards and one physical prize during the K to stream. So, all right. Doing the wheel of dollar amounts right now. Hundred dollars. Come on, Jeanette. Hundred dollars. It's five dollars. Five dollars. We only have there's one only, five dollar. There's only one five dollar left. Yep. There's so only one there's, five dollar. Yeah, only one five dollar left. Oh man. Congratulations though. Still five dollars is awesome. A lot of awesome deals on Prime Day. Rolling in to the second to last product. We're gonna take a look at this IBI key seven piece kitchen knife set. And of course it's a James video as I'm getting close and anxious to the end of the stream because I want to make eggs. And of course, and, and, uh, it's a James video. And then to add insult to injury, he's making food. What is going on, chat? James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from my Becky. This is their Quantum Okay, Ed, series. the physical prize for this stream was the Eufy Robovac X8 Hybrid $379 yep. value yep. that was given away. Yep. And Wooter Zell won it. Now, this chef knife is an 8 inch chef knife, but it also comes with a kitchen shear. Now, guys, this is made out of 51, uh, 51 uh, CDs. There, there is, steel, because I have so many people guys. entering the website that never show up for the live streams. They'll just enter and then they don't show up. So yeah, there has right. to be a. So, we, a so we announced them live, and we can't, obviously, we can't like wait for you know 30 minutes or so because uh, we announced them live. With a 14 degree sharpen, there are people which is who literally wait cool. in the chat for the box like open. hours. You guys are see this guy. So they it's have to their design sure right here of the actual the time watching and staying with the stream. Yeah, a lot of people will stay in here and watch the whole time. Knife itself, the kitchen shears, then attention with cleaning. Now that being said, I do plenty of site giveaways where you do not have to be present to claim the prize, and I'm going to share one in chat right now. This is a chance to win a hundred dollars. You can enter this one. It's drawn on July 24th. It ends on July 23rd. You don't have to be present on any stream. You're drawn the winner. You just get emailed that you win the prize. Yep. So when I do when I do off at, off live stream giveaways, you don't have to be present to win. If you're drawn the winner, you just get the email that you want. Yep. So dragonbar.com slash win 100 is for the $100 gift card. Stuff like that. Guys, That's remember, the one that I am drawing on the 24th. You do not have to be present on any stream um, to win that one. Steel, take a couple swipes at a certain degree and keep sure they are nice and sharp. And we just gave away a 3D printer on the website, too. That was that paper, from, um, you know, that was deal. one of those ones where I just emailed the winner. They, they, won. they didn't have to be present. Year warranty, yeah. which is actually very phenomenal. It's just separate giveaways for live streams versus the website giveaways, which span two weeks to a month long. Standard rubberized with nice steel shears. Uh, back here you have like your bottle grip opener if you guys need to open up like jars. That's what that's truly for. Pop it around and try to pop it. Then you have a nice shear. We're going to skip through this. Chef's knife right there. Oh, it's kind By of the way, just because you didn't claim it, you could still be redrawn and eligible to win. Yeah. So if you so come back after you, you missed it. You didn't it, claim it. So if, you, if the next gift card draws you and you didn't claim it because you weren't here last time, you're still eligible to be drawn again. Yep. Sharp. Now we're going to throw that aside. Remember, guys, don't handle it too much. Don't rub your eyes. Let's see and now I'm getting hungry, here. too. I got to admit. You guys want to Julian them? You enter on dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. So if you see right there, uh, well, I say it says giveaways, but it's not giveaway. It's just the last one. Dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. You'll scroll down below where it says join our Amazon live stream and you'll have multiple options to get signed in. So you can um, we're, we're, we don't have any more physical prizes on on I, my stream today. Yeah, the next physical prize will be on the stream at 6 p.m. Pacific. 
And the reason why there wasn't that many physical prizes is because I let my fans vote in Discord and Gaming Tribe. And there was a yeah, two to one vote. Fifty the people voted right they prefer the gift cards to physical prizes. It was like way more than two so. to one. So when I did my budget, I spent over a thousand dollars in gift cards because so. the the fans wanted the gift cards more than the physical prizes. So and also, you know, with the USA shipping address limitation on physical prizes, it made more sense. That is nice and sharp. From that perspective. Well, we're gonna stop there with that. All right, so that is long enough for a James video. I did four minutes. I timed it. We did four minutes. <laughs> That's crazy. So that is the, I don't know how you say it. A Becky? I bet. I Becky. Um, seven piece kitchen knife set. So right now, $82. $82 and 49 cents is the oh. normal price. It's down to $59.99. So you guys are saving 27% on that kitchen knife set. Fantastic Japanese kitchen knives. Fantastic. Yep. yep. I have also fantastic knives that I'm showing you guys with the Master Mason set. They are amazing. Um, but anyways, yeah. So we have... Wait, look at this. So if you... If, about a bake a little bit. The Murs, Mura, uh, Muramasa family has been in business making these knives for 300 years. 300 years? Whoa. We're, we're, talk, we're talking this history behind this brand and these knives. Yeah, so you know they're well made. You do anything for 300 years, you're going to be amazing at it. Last product, guys, and then we will be doing the last gift card giveaway, and let's hope it's $100. Um, let's hope it's $100 on the last one, but we're going to take a look at this Ninja Foodie 9-in-1 pressure cooker. So let's take a look at that. And this is the last product on my stream chat. I had to unplug it to bring it out of my kitchen, but here is my uh, Ninja Foodie 9-in-1 um air fryer i am in love with this thing i it quickly replaced a lot of um you know like my regular kitchen routines essentially um just because it's just so useful for so many different things um it's got a, a big space in it uh right now it doesn't have the little um platform to set in it um because i took it out to wash it because i used it today but um it's just so i appreciate you saying that joanna um, I mean, I also think I also think Justin is very, um, yeah, he's also, yeah, it's awesome that he does that because so for a lot of our physical prizes, the company sponsors it. But Justin, just so you guys know, um, we're not sponsored by Amazon. Like Amazon isn't giving us the money to do these gift cards. So this is all coming out of Justin's pocket. He's buying this for you guys. Versatile. Um, these gift cards. So many settings on it. Yep, like I like I tell people, I have a marketing budget. Instead of buying like Facebook ads or Google ads or other type of advertising, I put my marketing budget in the giveaways for the fans and community because I like building that that relationship with my community, right? So I'd rather do that than buying just ad traffic and getting strange, you know, just strange stranger traffic and clicks and visits. Yep. The need for having so many cast iron skillets, Teflon skillets, stuff like that. Um, when you can just throw something in there and you can do a lot of things like you can air fry, you can do um, like gumbos and soups and stews. And yep. I, 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 I just love this thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. My giveaways have my fair share of like, <laughs> I'll have a whole bunch of follows during a giveaway. And at the end of any big giveaway, I have like 300 people on follow me. <laughs> right. So it's not like it, it doesn't have its pros and its cons because I get the, I get the bloat followers and then I get the unfollows from people who like were upset they didn't win and stuff like that. So also, there are so many people using so many guides. You can always um, check and see, um, you know, how much uh, someone cooks something at what temperature for how long and, you know, all right, chat. So that is going to be it for that video. That is the Ninja Foodie yeah, Ninja Nine in One. Stuff. Ninja, yeah, Ninja oh. makes amazing, amazing stuff. I have a few of their appliances here in my home. So that one is an air fryer, pressure cooker. It's got a nesting broiling rack, five quart stainless steel. It's forty dollars off. Well, thirty nine dollars and ninety six cents off. So if you guys need a new uh, pressure cooker combo, definitely check out that one from Ninja. Great deal on so that. Cool. Before I draw the winner, I'm going to put the link again. It's dragonbarrer.com slash enter live since this is the last gift card this stream. Yep. Now, after this stream ends, I'm going to be resetting the entire giveaway back to zero for Nikita's stream so that you have to come back to Nikita's stream and enter all over if you want to win during Nikita's stream. 
But to answer your question, Kit C four T, I started Dragon Bugger in August of two thousand eight. So I'm running on my this is this will be my fourteenth year of running Dragon Bugger. It was just a blog, literally just a regular blogger. It's how it started. Blogs about everything from food to local events to tech, and then I shifted it more towards technology, um, gadget reviews, video games, and things like that towards like 2010, 2011. And then I went into product reviewing and influencing and just grew it from there. We started becoming, we started YouTube in 2008 as well. If you look at my old YouTube videos, you'll see me reviewing the weirdest crap back in 2008. Like I was all over the map. Yeah. I reviewed these tofurkey, this tofurkey and gravy drink from Jones Soda, which was this is like tofu turkey and gravy drink. I was just reviewing random stuff back then. It was just fun. I was just having a good time with it. So Rover, so, if you want to pass on information for a possible company, it's contact me at dragonblogger.com. Contact me at dragonblogger.com is the email that you want to pass on to companies if for some reason you're trying to get them to talk to us. Yeah, or dragonblogger.com slash contact us is the, is, the, is the contact form that brands reach us at. Yeah, it wasn't very, it wasn't very good, but they actually knew it wasn't, and they, they, that was my first sponsorship because they wanted a live reaction to people uh, sipping their soda and how they reacted to it. And I, like, puckered up. I almost, like, vomited. Yep, it's tofurkey and gravy drink for Thanksgiving. So I kind of got into the bug. I just enjoyed testing products. And I've always been a yep. PC and tech guy. I come back from Commodore 64 and Amiga days in the in the early 80s, Atari 2600, et cetera. So I've just always been into tech gadgets and building PCs and things like that. So then we just kind of kept growing. And we started Twitch live stream gaming in 2019. And then I just became the Amazon influencer in December 2020. And we only started Amazon live streams in September 2021. So literally, we haven't even been doing the Amazon live streams for a year yet. I'd say content creator is more of the job name. Yeah. Yeah, it's co- it's content creator. Influencer slash content creator is probably the most accurate. Job. Mm-hmm. Product reviewer isn't really a job title. I mean, some people, I mean, it kind of is. There's really no like set in stone, boom, this is what you are. Because I'm a, yeah, right now I'm a live so streamer I, and then I'm a product reviewer and then I'm a, uh, yeah, there, there's, there's a bunch of different stuff. So just to show you how tight knit we are. I was solo from like 2008 to 2012. It was just me. But then in 2012, I made the decision to open it up and become a multi-crew. So I started finding like-minded people who wanted to join this Dragon Blogger thing. And originally with Iggy was one of my first ones. And then nobody else from the original crew was still there. But 2014, Nate and James joined in 2014. And they've been with me ever since. So Nate and James are my longest running crew who've been with me now. Jeez, quite a long time. Eight years. Yeah, it's crazy. Eight years. That's a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> now, all right. Now, so that's the history. That's the history of Dragon Blogger. We've all had. We've all had. Besides Justin, but we've all had. You know, varying degrees of like a hiatus. Though, I know James yep, has everybody. been on hiatus before. I've been on hiatus multiple times. But J- overall, James has only taken a very small hiatus, like never more than a month. Yeah. Yeah. I've taken a year hiatus before. Yep. I think. Yeah. When you, yeah. When you got deployed, <laughs> that was a whole year off. Almost. Or when I moved to, I think, at first. I graduated from high school in 2014. No, no, no. Nick Kate has only been with me for one year. Nick Kate is not the first to join. Iggy from This Bites For You. And so Iggy wor- uh, worked with me, and he still kind of does every once in a rare while, but he broke off and started his own YouTube channel called This Bites For You. And so Iggy started out with me, and then he broke off and started his own. A YouTube channel where he wanted to focus specifically on PC hardware and PC builds only not do the variety of content like we do. Yeah. Yeah. And Asteroidia has worked with me since 2019, but she only just joined our Amazon live crew last week. So last week was her first week doing live streams for us. And she's going to be part of our regular live crew. All right. I think we, I've done enough about the history. We're going to go ahead and uh, draw the final winner for Nate's stream. Final winner. Come on. It's going to be a hundred. It's going to be a hundred dollars. Chat. Okay, here's the thing. If it's not a hundred dollars then that means both $100 winners are guaranteed to be in Nikita's yep. stream. So if it's not now guaranteed to have $200 winners in Nikita's stream, that's what it means. So here we go. Who is going to be the lucky winner? So yeah, I, People should come back from the cage stream. That's where that's where the big one. If this isn't a hundred dollars, there is going to be two one hundred dollar gift cards tonight. Think about that. Yep. There will be. It's going to happen no matter what. <sighs> Plus another physical prize. Let's not forget. And another physical prize. Yeah, I forgot about that. 
although not quite as good as the Robovac. Uh, I will say it's not a quite value, you know, dollar amount as the Robovac. That was the biggest one. Oh, awesome, though. Although the Toshiba TV I gave away last night was pretty damn good, too. Yeah. All right. I'm ready to draw the winner now. Everybody's had their chance. Good luck, everybody. Jeffrey at HyperRide. Jeff, HyperRide Technologies. Jeff again. HyperRide Technologies right, is the won. winner. He won last night, too, I believe. Let's see what he won last night. Are you here? $10. I think he went $10 last night during the game stream. All right, so go ahead and draw the amount. Come on, $100. $100. Let's go. Last one. Last one. He is here. Five dollars. No <laughs> it's way! The it's the last five. Okay, okay, that was the last five dollar one. That means yep. tonight I have ten, ten, twenty, twenty five hundred, hundred. Those are all going to be one tonight. No right, less than so ten. From the be be here tonight, Hyper Ride. You can still win a hundred dollars tonight too. Yep. So if you guys won anybody who wanted stream, yeah, anybody who want to give away during either James's stream this morning or or Nate's stream right now, you can come back and enter again for the yep. stream. Yep. All right, chat. So that's going to be it. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. tonight, which is Pacific time. So 8 p.m. Uh, 8 p.m. standard or not standard central uh, or 9 p.m. Eastern. We will excuse me. We will be going live. So I need to see you guys back there. I'll drop in. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead. And go eat. Thank you guys for hanging out with us all day. If you're not following already hit that follow button in about an hour and a half chat. An hour yep. and 32 minutes from now, Nikita will be going live with more giveaways for you guys so first of all thank you guys for stopping by checking out these streams if you guys liked any of the uh products be sure to add them to oh, the oh, cart. by the way share and tell people to come follow us tonight because if we reach two if we reach six thousand followers on the Kata stream i'll give away a spontaneous 200 hundred dollar gift card for reaching on top the 6, of everything 000. so oh, be sure to share it to your social medias go post it around town right now scream in people's face let them know that if they if we hit if we hit six thousand followers today, which we're probably about we need about probably I'd say hundred and seventy five more or so, um, we will hit the we'll hit six thousand and give away an extra two hundred dollars. So uh be sure to stop by here in about an hour and a half when Nikita goes live, and I will see you guys tomorrow on my normal stream uh slot, which is gonna be from two PM to six PM Central. Uh so I'll see you guys tomorrow and uh you guys have a great rest of your day. Yeah. And James will be back in the morning, too. Yep. Well. See you guys later.